All right. <clears throat> uh, welcome back to the stream. We are going to be playing not Cogmind today. We're going to be playing lots of other games. Um, so we've already played some 2020 70 RLs this year. Uh, I did it uh, back in March, I guess, um, right after the event. Uh, at the request of developers, we did that for a couple weeks, played about 10 some odd 70 RLs and had a lot of fun with that. And a lot of the devs showed up too, so that was cool. Uh, but now we're going to do something a little different. The reviews have finally come out. Uh, the final reviews are in, and so we can also now play some of the ones that a lot of people thought were pretty decent games. Uh, that doesn't mean that obviously some of the other games down lower aren't good. A lot of them will be also fun and, and interesting as well, but um, maybe just the particular reviewers who ended up reviewing them didn't like them as much. But uh, uh, so anyway, yeah, it's not a reason to not try the lower ones. We've had some fun with uh, pretty much every game we played last time. But uh, it's good to see some of the ones that we did play already are uh, up near the top as well. Like one of the ones that I thought really should be uh, way up here, ended up here uh, with Host of Fire. I really like that one. It's my favorite one I've played this year uh, so far. Um, so we'll be skipping over that uh, when we get to it. We're going to start basically from the top of the list and be playing down. Uh, I can imagine we'll get through maybe four or five today. Uh, or so. Um, so what else? So yeah, this is the uh, 2020 uh, review, the official review website. Uh, I should mention it's uh, more accurate. Uh, the scoring and everything is more accurate than on itch. Uh, this is the original system that's been used for many years, uh, even though the event is now hosted on itch.io. But on here, you can actually see all, what all the reviewers said about each category and order everything uh, by different uh parameters like we can see which games people thought were the most fun uh, perfect scores on fun here would be these games they don't always match up with the average score obviously so if you're just looking for fun or just looking for stuff that looks good you can order them like that uh, so it's pretty convenient to use this site compared to itch which actually ended up also being incorrect uh, the itch.io website unfortunately does reviews differently than this system so the ordering on itch will also just be wrong in some cases so, yeah, we're going to start with uh, this first one, Restrativa. So, Restrativa is a game by Powell, um, I think. Uh, and, uh, yeah, they made uh, last year, that's right, they made last year made Quinta Essentia, which was a lot of fun. That was an alchemy uh, roguelike from last year. We did play that one. That was, um, so, apparently, the, the dev likes uh, Latin names. <laughs> All right, so let's see. Uh, it's the time of war and occupation. Your fatherland, you owe so much to, has been invaded by a greedy international organization. All right, you're part of an underground state resisting the invader. All right, so this game is an attempt to bring mechanics known from commandos and thief uh, to roguelikes. All right, so it's kind of uh, stealth and whatnot. Uh, your opponents are strong, so you have to avoid open confrontation. Sneak, surprise, attack, carry bodies, pay attention to noises, which may bring attention to the, of the guards. All right, uh, and there's apparently a newer version out. Uh, I've already downloaded that elsewhere. Uh, so for the reviewing process, we're not really reviewing anymore. I'm not reviewing process. Uh, <laughs> just for the playing process today, I'm going to be playing the newer versions, uh, if there are any, the post-jam versions. Some developers uh, do fixes uh, and or even expand some on some features. And so since we're not doing reviewing, um, we're going to be playing the latest version. Some devs have been working on the games, and this one's been updated in the past month, uh, even though the uh, event was over four months ago. So, yeah, we'll be playing the newer one. Uh, anything else we have to know on here? Mm, nope, no instructions here. It's always good to check the page first to see if there are any uh, instructions on how to play. All righty. Here we go. Starting it up from the executable. Rest for TV, okay, this is gonna... It's got an intro. Volio, or rather, Rest Public of Volio, your stolen country. When years ago you got orphaned... I'm gonna have to turn down the... Oops. I'm gonna have to turn down the volume there, probably. You hoped for the best in the future, but then the Gmetists came. 
Gamet, the movement, uh, movement came out of an idea of driving progress by controlling every single aspect of people's lives, country by country, their gaming power by manipulation and physical force. Voyan people, with their love for freedom, decided to reject them. Strong enough for an invasion. Okay, and a few months of heavy warfare. They defeated Voyan, occupied most of his regions. Okay, many were killed, but many were willing to resist. Okay, so we're part of the resistance. Oh, uh, hey, Tone. Yeah, Tone uh, has played... I noticed you played, like, a tenth of the uh, roguelikes this year, the seven DRLs. Tone was one of the reviewers uh, this year. Um, and I noticed, yeah, yesterday... So yesterday I was playing through... Uh, I mean, just to see, I just started them all up to make sure I could... Which ones I could and could stream from the list. And I was surprised, yeah, like, the top ten that I was going through all have... Most have pretty, really... Well, surprisingly high production value for seven DRLs in terms of... At least a lot of them have music, we'll notice. Um, which is pretty cool. Uh, it's nice to see production values going up on them. So, uh, out of multiple at ordinary resistance. Okay, resistance. Colonel Wildroff, uh, or Widroff, the leader of the scout group, kind of your proposition of joining. Accepted it without a second thought. Uh, due to your past, you'll be directed to special missions, apparently, where you're a criminal. Your burglar talents will be utilized this time in a good cause. Volia is not lost yet. Nice title. <laughs> Interesting. It says click to start. I'm just watching to see what this is. It's a pretty cool title screen. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, I agree, Tone. It's uh, the aesthetics and right away will draw people in uh, for these and other games. It really helps. Although, honestly, even, you know, this is cool and all, but when I was going through the list and looking at all these top games on, like, the first page, as soon as I got to any game that had just ASCII in it, that got me really uh, excited, too. <laughs> Didn't need anything else. All right, so we're going to stick on normal difficulty. Um, so I have to actually also move my screen around to see the top there. Wait for next mission from Colonel Woodruff. Normal difficulty. Uh, one of our mathematicians has been working on breaking the ciphers. Unfortunately, his valuable notepad was confiscated and hidden in his camp. Find it and steal it. All right, so we have to steal uh, his notepad back. Nothing we need on the top. And for each game, as usual, I'll have to kind of slightly let me see. Okay, this is a good height. I will move this. Your objective. Okay, we have the objective in the bottom right one there. Okay, commands. There's a help. We'll immediately click on help. There we go. Contextual help shows you what actions are currently available for available, and so that's this uh, at the bottom here. G D R W. G is get. Okay, so G is a uh, get drop. I can see R, maybe throw a rock. It looks like, and W is whistle. It looks like that's my guess. All right, walk, pull, uh, walk and strike in all eight directions. Put with five or K. You can use items only while they're held in hands. I see, so uh, the item will appear on top of us. Uh, oh, there's E. E is for eat. I see. Okay, so no more contextual commands will appear there. Press G to pick up my own hand. Press G again to put it in the backpack. Oh. Uh, I see. To access items in the backpack, use the uh, 1 to 9 key, so I guess that'll appear in a second. All right. Okay, controls, controls, self, wait, uh, there's two control pages. <laughs> um, point mouse on, uh, to see details, you can find useful items in crates. Walk on them to open them. Click and drag to look around the map, and you can zoom as well. Stealth. Characters with a question mark have discovered you and will be aggressive unless you hide. Oh, I see. We can be barely, barely visible and visible. I wonder what changes that. Characters without 
the exclamation mark are not aware of you. However, they will become more and more suspicious. All right, so quest a growing question mark when you stay in their field of view, especially in the red one. All right, that makes sense. The more big objects like trees, walls, or furniture you're adjacent to, the harder it is to detect you. Okay, so simply being adjacent to, I wonder. I guess that includes even in front of, huh? Just don't want to be out in the open. All right, sounds now. Some noises make your enemies suspicious and even let them discover you. Black. Uh, however, you may take advantage of sounds in order to bring their attention far from you. Some weapons may stun your opponents. Stun opponents won't act for some time. You can carry their bodies, which slows you down, or even bind them with cords so that they can't stand up. It's not possible to take weapons from your opponents. <laughs> in yellow. I like how that has to be extremely uh, uh, obvious. That's obviously something people would really like to be able to do. But yes, not a combat roguelike. Although there is combat here. Oh, that is the combat. Status is... Stunned is laying on the ground. Stunned will soon wake up. What's the... Trying to tell what the difference is between these two. Why is that one will soon wake up? Seems it feels like that one will almost be the one that's going to be waking up. Tide will not cause any more problems. Objective related. So this is like the notepad we want. Suspicious. Very suspicious and aware. Okay. That is pretty much that's a pretty good intro to the game. What kind of settings are there in here? Okay, just music and sound volume. Base hit chance 70. Oh wait, I have a slingshot. Oh. Damage zero. So our slingshot is basically I gets to uh, yeah throw rocks and make noise and stuff. Shoot rocks. Uh, base stun chance is halved if the target is aware. So if the target's not aware, we can. Pretty much always. Well, I don't know if the chance. That's the base chance. Uh, turns to load. It takes three turns to load. So I guess it's loaded now. I'm not sure if we have to load it first. Ah, uh, we have our inventory here. An apple. It stores your health. Our health is currently six of six. A club. Zero turns to load. I can use a tie stunned opponent while standing on him. All right. Zooming out. All right, let's get moving. So I can't actually click to move, which I guess is kind of awkward because that means I have to use the numpad and mouse, which are both on my right hand normally. Oh no, here's also UI JL. Um, wait, oh, I see. Hmm, I could try and use that as well. I prefer to use numpad just because it's not diagonal. I uh, will just do that. All right, here we go. Hey, wait a minute, How, what doesn't that work? Oh, I have to actually turn on numlock for this one. You gotta always remember when you're playing roguelike to check whether you have to have numlock on, numlock on or off. But what is this? Oh, leaving the area. Apparently that's shaded because we can't leave. That's... I thought it was some fog or something. Just kind of skirting the edge. I guess we did have a map, but wasn't sure what to make of it at the time. Alright, there's a compound here we have to make it into. I wonder if the door was entrance was back on the other side oh you can hear footsteps does it say something here? step sound mm -hmm. more steps over there I'm guessing the entrance was on the other side this is why it started us over there probably have to go back huh talking oh Oops, uh oh. 
great. Just circling all the way back around now. Oh wait, here's an entrance. Oh, that might not be easy to get into though. Oh, a lot of guys over there. Guess I'm gonna go look for another entrance real quick. And I guess the I wonder I, I guess it's procedurally generated the maps. And I wonder how many missions there are. Ended up going all the way back around. Okay, here's a back entrance. Alright, so you can tell by the amount of fading, which is nice, that uh, this how where how the steps are moving. This person is moving away from us, and so is this person. And there's another one down there. I'm waiting right here. Uh oh. Oh, whoops. It actually does take a turn if you uh, accidentally step into something that you can't move into. What was that sound? Oh, and the bottom right of her becomes suspicious. What is this? Nothing. Oh, this is in the top left corner. This is heavy item or furniture. The top left corner, which I have uh, covered or oh, slightly off the screen right now, also is um, it just gives you the coordinates and uh, labels. Uh, what the object is, brick wall. A heavy item or furniture. Uh oh. Un unaware? Oh, it says unaware. It should be unaware uh, in the uh, box there. Unaware of you. Okay, so I guess we should hit this guy. Loads. Oh, that's not even loaded. Uh, that takes three turns. Oh, we have to actually... Oh, I have to load it again. Okay, it's now ready. And now we can shoot it. Shoots a ranged weapon. Okay, so we have to... It didn't... I, I accidentally waited a turn. I thought I had to actually wait for that to happen. You actually... You can... Pause mid-load if you need to. So we have it loaded for... When we get cornered.
How do I get into this house here? I can't go through the window, unfortunately. Talking to the southeast. Oh, that's right, we can get stuff out of these crates. Kind of just hiding by this tree here. Oh, shoot. An officer out there. In there. Doesn't look like he can see us here, though. This guy can. I'm tempted to just shoot that guy. Direction key? Uh oh. I have to shoot in straight directions? I thought I could just click on him and hit him from anywhere. Direction keys to aim. Oh, okay, never mind. Alright. I was worried there, I didn't want to waste it. Ah, there's a range. Range limit of six. Can't hit him that far away. Okay, I guess we wait. Didn't have to worry about that anyway, I guess. He's gonna come back around. Gonna hit him when he hits, comes around. Wait, what? <laughs> okay, I hit him and pushed him back? I thought I was gonna stun him. He's now sitting over there talking. <laughs> Whoops, key hand was in the wrong position there. Oh, apparently, all right, so it's not 100%. I shoot and hit something, but I didn't hit him. It's gonna be hard to get over there. There's a ton of guys, there's like three guys here and two in the south, wow. Pretty much have to retreat. Otherwise, you're gonna get caught. Gonna try going back around the other way. Oh, shoot. guy around the corner. Yeah, is that, I guess that wall's in the way? Looks like I'm not actually able to hit him. If it's gonna pass right through there, that corner. He's not aware, but he's still suspicious. I feel like I'm gonna hit the wall. Yeah, it hits the wall. <laughs> Kind of unfortunate. Boom, there we go. Did he? No, he didn't drop something. All right, let's uh, see, use a three. T, ties him. All right, so he's tied. He's got the tie symbol above him now and I used that. Can get back out our slingshot. Might need to actually use it more often, I guess. Oh. Hi, Chocobo Dundee. Uh, rest for Tiva. It's been pretty. It's pretty interesting. It's uh, I'm not doing amazingly well yet. I haven't explored too much of it either, but uh, it's pretty well put together anyway. Might be more suited to playing alone than streaming, if only because it's a little 
a little more subdued and there's a lot of walking around uh, back to, you know, tracing back uh, your steps. Hand crossbow. It does damage, actually. Hmm. I wonder how many hit points... Oh, that's right. I've already seen how many points they have. They have, like, uh, three hit points for a regular enemy. Alright, so let's... Uh, oh, wait. I can do that. Grab this. Um, okay, so that put it in our hand. Done chance. I see. Oh, we made some noise. <laughs> Definitely don't want the enemies to be alerted to your presence because chat's being loud. <laughs> Alright, so there's nothing else in here. We're still looking for the notepad. Oh, shoot. Alright, well, it's a good thing I've got my slingshot ready. Uh, technically, surprisingly, I don't know, I guess because we're against the wall here, this counts as some pretty good defense, but... Shoot. Alright, that didn't actually turn out too badly. Just waiting here, he's just sitting over there too. Waiting, waiting. He's still standing over there. Two guys now. Oh, and there's a whole lot of guys. Guess I'll wait here. German officer is down. Maybe I should just take all these guys out. Try to. Oh, well, actually, this is going to get blocked by trees, isn't it? No, it's not. Alright, we got him down too. I wonder how long they stay down. There's something I don't know. This officer's still down, so it seems uh, pretty effective. Oh, actually, there is. Can I get around past that tree? It looks like this whole southeast is blocked. Let's have to go this way. They seem to stay stunned for a while. I'd kind of like to know for how long, but already. Seems like a good while, so don't have to worry too much about that. Guess I should be stunning more. Another crossbow. Well, I've got one of those, so we'll just leave that one. Check it one house at a time. gonna hit him when he came out but he didn't come out. Uh oh. I haven't been spotted once yet, I guess, which is good. <laughs> Make a run for it. Ooh, definitely want this. I like how it takes three turns to prepare your um, slingshot. Actually, how long does it take to prepare a crossbow? Oh, four to load a crossbow. With only one damage, it would be tough to actually kill someone. Uh, there's a lot of enemies off to the east. Alright, so how do we get into this area to the south? Whoa, dragging moves quickly. Alright, so yeah, we can see this more clearly now. Oh, there was a, a crate up there, crate over there, a, a place here to check out, and another one down here. 
can't tell if there's going to be anything in there. It looks like, looks like probably not. Uh, is, can you walk while drawing the sling? Asks Dundee. Uh, you can uh, walk. Uh, it's it's a, it's an action. So yeah, uh, while it's it takes three turns to actually draw the sling and prepare it fully, but you can intermittently walk and prepare it if you need to. All right. So so I found the objective, but. Uh oh, I'm gonna get caught out here. It'd be nice if you could go over the wall. <laughs> okay, good, he turned away. Uh oh, one guy coming to the south. There's a corridor. There's like. Some of these paths don't actually lead anywhere. <laughs> here we go. Uh, okay, no, there's a way in here. Nice. Nice now. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of footsteps over there. It feels like playing Cogland when you're being chased. Or when there's patrols running around. Definitely plenty of stealth play in Cogland as well. Of course, at the moment, I want to like go through walls and stuff. Alright, so our sling is drawn. You can see there it's already. Uh, orange. We're ready to shoot, but we kind of have to just wait. A lot of waiting involved here until the enemies decide to leave. Alright, almost everyone's leaving. Just going guy here. Oh no, there's more coming to the south. Shoot, I'm just gonna get in there. They're all coming over this way now. Uh oh, I'm gonna get caught in the doorway here. Nope, still not caught. <laughs> Just sitting in this guardhouse here. Alright, I think we need to take this guy out. <laughs> Boom, got him. Am I carrying him or not? I wanted to pick this guy up. Oh, there we go. Alright, I picked him up, dropped him, and now I can equip the cord and tie him up. Hey, why can't I press T? It's not working this time. I have the cord in my hand. Oh, interesting. If you drop a body, it didn't recognize. I wasn't able to press T to tie him up. I actually had to move off the body and back on again to tie him. Hmm. Okay. Sling back out. Even though technically I guess right now in here I could use the bludgeon, which might be more effective up close. Oh, it takes zero turns to load, which is nice. You just sit and throw away and bludgeon people. <laughs> of course, you don't have enough cord to keep tying everyone up. I don't know how we're going to get in here, though. I guess... Hmm, I have to, might have to go all the way around to the south side. So you can cut through here and then get inside. I don't think there's probably... What we need is probably in there, though, to be honest. Maybe I should leave and go back up to the north side here. Probably makes more sense. Scrolling is kind of weird. Yeah, I'm going to go back. One thing I haven't done yet is whistle. Oh man. Walk out in the open. <laughs> uh, I guess we're far enough for now from everything. It's just okay. Seems like all the guards are in the southeast anyway. So, I guess the mission item can be placed anywhere?
There's a crate to the north. Ooh, a lot of guys around here. Whole lot of guys, whole lot of guys. Uh oh, we're getting surrounded. Retreat! Make sure our sling is drawn, it is. Just gonna try to take this guy out. Got him. Stop talking, walk away. Thank you. Oh, this is a, oh, a bayonet. Finish off a stunned opponent while standing upon him. Ooh. That seems nice, even though I haven't really had anyone get woken up yet, but that's pretty cool. It can't stun much on its own, though. Okay, we now have a bayonet. Oh, did this guy... No, I was going to say, did he drop a bayonet? It looks like he's a bayonet too, but it said you can't take their weapons. Oh, shoot, this guy's coming. Wait, where's my... I put my bayonet... Uh, that's not good. Where did... I had a bludgeon a second ago. Oh, it's on the ground. Oh, wait, no, it's not on the ground. It's in my hand. Why can't I actually use it, though? How do you use a bludgeon? Can I just walk into a guy? Or a club? It is. I'm not sure how to use a club. It's not on the list here. It should be in my hand, though. Does that mean I can just bash into him? I hope so. I'm going to find out in a second if he walks in the door. Okay, he didn't walk in the door. Hmm. Not sure about this bludgeon still. Oh, that guy's standing right there. Legend? Yeah, I guess it's... I guess I can use it by bumping. This guy's still standing there. There's three guys outside now. Two of them talking, the other one just walking around. Getting totally surrounded. Alright, now they're leaving. Oh, one of them was... I guess they woke that guy up then, too. I was going to go out there and stab him with the bayonet. But can't do that anymore. Half of the target is aware of you. Just thinking if we get spotted, what's most effective? Because it's most effective to be actually using the club. Because then you can repeatedly attack with it. You can't do that with the slingshot. Have to be able to load it. So defensively, it makes more sense to use this. Did not wake him up though. <laughs> Waiting for the other's friend to come over. Where's his friend? Oh, there he is. Got them both. was going to stab him, but honestly, it might not be worth it. Let's 
Since more would just show up. Oh shoot, alright, the where's oh maybe the actually maybe it's inside a crate. That's what we're looking for, is something that's inside a crate. Or the notepad's in a crate somewhere. There was one to the northwest I didn't open. Because I didn't see it at the time. Won't be out in the open. Nope. There's one crate left. Oh shoot. I'm gonna get caught. There's a guy standing right inside here. Oh, hello there. Uh, can I hit him point blank? <laughs> yes, okay. Don't want to really get pushed south because I know there was a lot of guys down there. some cord out here in the open. Well, it looks like the only thing left is that crate in the top left. Well, except for that one area. That Would it be in this corner? Surprised we've had to explore quite this much, though. Go, go. I'm gonna leave that cord there. Shoot, 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 shoot. No, no. Oh, okay, I pressed the wrong button. Got that happen because I accidentally ran into a wall. This is having to use the numpad with my left uh, hand here. Fortunately. Oh, shoot. Well, that's not good. Oh shoot, he can hit me over here. <laughs> okay, that's bad, I did not know that. Okay, that one didn't... Oh, shoot. That guy... No, I, I wish I had the... Uh... Alright, how do I stab this guy? Whoops, I pressed the wrong button. Damn it. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm going to have to switch back. I was going to stab these guys, but that's not going to happen now. Maybe it should happen. Alright, first is, how do I stab him, actually? I have no idea. I've got the bayonet equipped, I think. Oh wait, is that on the ground? No, that's me right here. Okay, here we go. There we go, I'm on top of him now. F. Oh. Finishes off a stunned enemy, avoided by all means. They may take revenge on civilians. Oh. Eh. Uh, um, yeah, that's right, uh, Dundee. They, they do untie a knockout person. I'm sure that happened a uh, couple times already. Uh, okay, so well, they just tell me I don't want to stab these guys. Uh, I guess I'll obey that. Let me shoot. <laughs> well, fortunately, this is a really good place to defend. i am just knocked everyone out. <laughs> well, except this guy out here. Uh oh, this guy right here is about to wake up. You can see his uh, icon changed. Uh, I knocked him out again. You can just stay here and keep knocking them out. Shh. <laughs> 
shoot, he can still hit me there. I hate that. I can't hit him, but he would be able to hit me. I can't actually see everyone who's awake here. But I can hit them when they come around the corner. Like... Yeah, there was supposed to be a guy standing there, but I couldn't see him. Seems like it's hard. It's not able to show overlapping guys. It's like, wait, why can't... Oh, is it because the chance is halved? Wait, what happened? I can't stun him. He's unstunnable. Okay, I accidentally ran into the wall there. He's unstunnable. Huh. Quit and run the game again to restart. Oh my gosh, you can't restart the actual game from inside the game. <laughs> well, that was unfortunate. Uh, I want to try again, just because I think we should... I'm surprised I didn't win that first mission, though. Hmm. But anyway, we do have an already... It's been almost an hour. We had a pretty clear idea in the game, so I guess I'll, I'll go back and play it some more later uh, on my own. Because I'd like to see what some of the later missions are, unless everyone, unless Chad is interested in uh, in uh, actually trying that again. Now that you know all the mechanics, and probably play it through it faster uh, the second time. I guess that's what I did with a lot of the seven heroes I was playing last time and last year when I was reviewing. You play it once real quick to get get a handle on the mechanics, and then uh, start over or, or die. It took a while to die that time because the whole point is stealth and evasion. But um, but usually the second time goes faster. But the next game, uh, otherwise. Uh, let's see. So the next game, uh, second on the list, uh, technically a little unfair, if only because only one person reviewed this particular game, uh, Fable on your table. But it does seem uh, quite good uh, from the comments as well. Uh, other people who did play it who weren't on the review team. Only one person actually reviewed it, though, because it's not a computer game. It is a print and play um, which looks pretty cool, and the person, the one reviewer who did play it really enjoyed it as well. So I won't, I'll be skipping over this one, but it does look interesting. It's also, a, I guess, an intro video, um, uh, called Fable on Your Table. Looks pretty cool. So we will be skipping to the next one, then. Terramon Castle Oni Story. This one we're going to be playing on the browser. Terramon Castle Oni story. ASCII-ish. ASCII plus, I guess we could call it. All right, so it's not clear what transpired at the Battle of Terramanjo last fall, but it is known the Shogun's armies were forced to retreat, taking heavy losses from a horrible Oni wielding a cursed blade. Now that Oni rules Terramanjo. All right. Uh, monsters and demons roam the grounds freely, making sport of the few surviving innocents. Those people not already slaughtered are forced to labor rebuilding sections of the castle according to some strange purpose known only to the Oni himself. Where a demon hunter and the Shogun's employ, we volunteered to kill the Oni and find a way to seal the power of the Cursed Blade. Okay. Uh, it doesn't look like there's any other instructions here. And all right, let's get, let me get this set up. Going to run it in the browser. Instructions. Ah, okay, here's the instructions. All right. Uh, quick key reference. There's pick up. Inventory is I. Guess it's nicer from a roguelike standpoint when games also use G for picking up just because that's a standard thing, but man, not everyone, not all the developers know that. Uh, enter in inventory is to use or an item D to drop. Uh, quest log. Uh, music too. Again, another, uh, we'll see there's music in a lot of the uh, top rated 70 URLs. Use the numpad. You can always use the arrow key. There, so we're going to be using numpad, looks like. Um, keep track of the story pages you've collected using the quest journal. Uh, each page you collect reveals more of the story and unlocks one of the seals on the sacred shrine. Bushido, you have six, 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 six uh, statistics which govern combat strength, spirit, might, willpower, endurance, and resolve. These reflect the two battlefields on which samurai must fight realms of war and spirit. 
The first two stats are representative of your well-being. Strength and spirit. Strength is your physical energy and stamina. Spirit is the measure of the power of your soul. The body cannot live without the mind. So the mind cannot rest above without the body. All right, so if either of these are reduced to zero, we'll die. Strength and spirit. The second two are your combat prowess, might and willpower. Okay, so yeah, I see. These are pairs. They reserve uh, pairs, strength, might, and endurance, I guess, and spirit, willpower, and resolve. Might is used against power, willpower is mind. And the final two are defenses. All right, so this is life, attack, and defense. And all right, so you got two different sets, each with uh, three abilities there, or attributes. Um, some monsters may be impervious to physical damage but made to be defeated by a simple blessing or a prayer. I wonder how we'll know that. I guess we'll find out. We could also use the mouse. All right. Also, they've only tested this in Chrome. I'm using Firefox, Firefox, so we'll see if uh, uh, it might work flawlessly under the browser. They just haven't tested it, so I guess we're going to be testing it for them. <laughs> or they probably heard back by now from other people. But the story so far. Start game. We'll just start here. All right. ASCII plus ASCII plus. <laughs> All right. Oh, it's it's remembered my Zoom. I was testing with. Let me move this view just a little bit. Oh, come on, that's so annoying. That's good enough. Pushing it up will jog it again. All right. Ah, <clears throat> uh, yes. Thank you, Chocobo Dundee. <laughs> Adding the uh, commands into chat so we can re I can reference them there. All right, uh, inventory. Okay, so use our inventory. We can use the mouse also to interact with things, which is useful, um, especially when playing a sequence of many different games because it can be hard to remember all the keys for each one. So there we look. There we go. Kisrati is handsome as ever. Ha. Uh, okay, and Uchu Hill, uh, outwardly resembling a small leopard. These yokai are attracted to places where great magics are worked. They do not speak to men, but have a language of their own. Great glass balls on their head. Huh. Uh, and a kyonshi, the body of a dead person animated by magic. Lightning or simply rage at being improperly cared for. Hmm. Uh, all right, so I guess this is kind of like a zombie, and I guess these are enemies? This doesn't seem like an enemy, at least not the description, but... Uh, I like this, uh, the ASCII is nice, nice uh, gate here. All right, what is this? Here's another one. A creature roughly shaped of a woman with a terrible bird beak, three legs, long black hair. Its song tears at the minds and breaks the will of men. Wow, okay. So right, we got to check our stats here. Might, will pass. So here's our attack, defense, and health in two different groups. Level one, max one. I guess we can get drained levels then. Okay, so I'm going to try to move here. I'm going to see what else everyone else does. Okay, yeah, they're moving after us here. Oh, we just got hit, apparently. <laughs> yeah, we're being chased. What is this? Ah, willpower plus one. A wooden wand wrapped in prayer scripts. Cool. <laughs> That's okay, Dundee. Didn't need the land breaks anyway. Uh, I, uh, honestly, it looks like it's going to be okay. In the, it'll be okay in this game because again, most things you can do with mouse. Whoops. Why did that move me to the northeast? I press southeast. <laughs> hmm. All right, let's pick this up, I guess. Okay, there it is. Uh, so it's in our inventory. Oh, do I have to? I guess I need to uh, equip this. Yes. Okay, it's equipped. And our, our willpower increased. Why is the, our might zero? I wonder. Also, it's interesting. This here is faded. Does that? It's because this is part of the. F this is on higher Z levels, basically, and you're kind of like, I mean, obviously, yeah, it's, this is like a gate. That's around higher, so it's showing, it's fading this area around us because we're behind it. That's kind of cool, if true.
I hit it, and I end up dying here. Breaks the will. Mm. All right, and there's something over here. Corrupted Samurai. Ah. It appears as though the Oni controls him now, or perhaps has animated his corpse to fight you. And there's something else down here. A Ninja Warrior. Oh. Okay. Hmm. All right, so... Oh, wait, there's something down here. Willpower plus three. Ofura... Chigiriki. Okay. Guess I'll go. What? Every time I. That's weird. I can't go southeast. <laughs> huh. There's something wrong with the. No, never mind. Huh. Interesting. Okay. I apparently do need Numlock on for this in order to go southeast as well, but it was odd that it was giving a different result. Comma. Might plus one. A small hand weapon based on sickle. All right. So I guess we need this weapon as well. I need to switch to it, maybe, uh, if to fight uh, things that are more weaker against physical attacks. Nice calming music. I wonder how we regain our strength. What is going on over here? That's right, if we hold control, I can see what these are. Oh, here, a shrine pillar. Oni. What? Is the actual Oni or what? <laughs> and a staircase going down. Magical seal. Oh, I see. That's right, it says something about we have to get the story in order to break the seal. So the Oni is here, but we can't actually do anything to him unless we take out the seals. Uh, what are the, can we get inside these structures? Can't quite tell. Seems like we should be able to go inside these things. This looks like a roof, I guess, over something, but we can't actually get in there. Oh, is this a door? Yes, that's a door. Okay. This should be stairs down. Oh, a small clay vessel containing a lovely calming tea. Dancha. Okay. Let's piss pee to pick that up. What does that give us? Left click to use. Alright, let's use it. Oh, that increased our spirit. This delicious tea is soothing. Alright, I guess let's go down into this. Space, space, go down the stairs. Here we go. Resolve plus two. Chihaya, variant of the kimono. Worn by priests to please the kami. Wow, okay, some interesting creatures in here. <laughs> but I guess if we can't see there's any of their stats, I wonder... I don't know. There's not a whole lot of choices in terms of how to combat them other than just switching between sets of weapons perhaps also i'm still not sure how to regain health well okay some definitely better stuff in here demon slaying arrows amaya Ring bows plus two plus three. All right then, that gets attached. Right click to drop. I guess I don't actually need these weaker things. I don't imagine we're gonna lose items. 
sake. Fortifies both the body and the soul. That's good, because uh, getting our butts kicked here. All right, that was helpful. You picked up the sake kanpai. There we go. Yeah, so it's definitely the fading is uh, when you're next to something that otherwise blocks uh, view. It's nice. More sake. Oh, well, something double W showed up. Shirio. Uh, the spirit of one who has died. Sorry about that, Shirio. Oh, corrupted samurai died too when I walk around the corner. <laughs> ah, here we go. Oh, ball of rice. Tanjiki. A samurai's breakfast. And also more sake. Okay. So I guess so far the point is just to keep ourselves uh, using the most powerful weapon we can find. <laughs> waiting for this guy. We can't wait, but we can just move back and forth, which is basically equivalent to waiting. Hmm. One of those uh, zombies. I'm just gonna leave. Uh, didn't seem like we need anything else from there. Saki. Head inside this one, which I imagine will have more downstairs. Yes. Another sake. Wait, so these stairs, hmm. So these stairs would go to a different level? Go up the stairs. Huh, yeah, I think we, maybe I missed stairs the last time. Another sake. All right then, don't mind. Pick that one up. Wait, what is this one though? Ah, plus one, plus one resolve. We have plus two resolve. A lot of sake. <laughs> Back to Max. Another sake. Okay, there's plenty of sake laying around. <laughs> Tetsubo plus four to might. Hmm. Tempted to use that instead of this, but let's see. Willpower plus four. Willpower plus. One. Okay, so we need to get rid of that. Pick this one up. I wonder if the arrow. I guess the arrows aren't actually ranged. What do we do with this here? So it's a regular weapon. I guess we stab them with the arrow. <laughs> See. 
Endurance, uh, Kuruta Doa, plus three to Endurance. Hmm. I guess you have to read descriptions to try and kind of figure out what different enemies are good at there. Our spirit is way above max now. <laughs> Double. I guess we've been... Uh, I keep drinking a lot of sake, which is uh, upping my spirit, but we're only getting damaged physically. Um, yeah, I agree, uh, Dundee. It would make it be better if the enemies were a little more cut cut by strength, perhaps. They seem to... I don't know. Oh, okay, we're going to start finding some new stuff. I'm a kitty. I mean, I guess it would help if there were some stats, but at the same time, if you read these, it probably makes a lot of sense. Like, a native of the spirit world, okay, we can tell that they're going to obviously deal in spirit damage. Right now, our um, setup is kind of um, if pretty effective at both, unless there's an especially powerful enemy, but I'm not sure which of those, you know, what enemies are that powerful. So I don't know which I should break out the big weapons for. Okay, this one's starting to really hurt. <laughs> and here comes a D. Not a dog, no Kami. <laughs> Allies of men and Kitsune alike. Since the oldest time, the wolves and Kami smooth grave first. Is not going to attack us? That would be nice. Seems like it's not attacking us. Good. Wouldn't want to have to kill an uh, Okami, right? Gonna help us then? Tanjiki. Oh yeah. Good for strength. And Asaki. Hiya. Oops, didn't look at what it is. I can't actually. If it, it would be nicer if we moused over ourselves. If we moused over ourselves, it would actually tell us the item that's or give show us the details for the item that's under us, rather than our describing ourselves again. <laughs> ah, okay. Plus two. What did we have? We had one of those. Yeah. Nice of the demons to leave on a bunch of food. Yeah, well, it's a temple, so it's not super surprising that we've got. Uh, I don't know, rice and sake lying around. <laughs> okay, this might be that. Oh, and on Myoji, uh, devotees of the devotees of the mystic arts, they summon the spirits. Uh, is this a summoner? He's got a blank expression on his face and darkness where his eyes should be. Ah, okay, been corrupted by the Oni's power. Eh. Well, it's gone now. <laughs> Another sake. It seems like we can just keep. Uh, drinking sake to raise our uh, abilities higher than usual. Like, I mean, we have 23 now. Dun -tra. 26. Hmm. One of them paper lanterns. Oh, I didn't also know. I didn't notice earlier. Actually, we've raised levels. We're currently level three. 
doesn't seem like we can get any other abilities or anything now. Oh, this guy's like standing right here. Whoa, ninja. Ninja agent. Oh, actually got kind of hurt there. Let's have some Tonjiki. And I guess we're done on this floor. Didn't really get anything. Keep going up. Up and up and up. Homomori bound katana. Ooh. Etched with spells of protection and warding. I like the descriptions of everything. Obviously with this this particular roguelike is focusing a whole lot more on on theme uh, than it is uh, I don't know, gameplay. Uh, let's see, it's what was that plus plus three plus two. Hmm. Can't say we necessarily need that one though. Done show, pick that up. Um, yeah, I agree, yeah, Dundee. It would help if there were abilities and stuff, a way to use your uh, strength and, and spirit uh, to do other things. More Dantra. I'm going to leave that there for now. Oh, this door just opened on its own. Whoa, okay, I'm going to finally find some bigger stuff, I guess. One of those paper lanterns and a Kodama and an en Enra. Okay. Um, once peaceful Kami of the Woods. Must have been driven mad by the destruction of its trees and sacred earth it lived on. It thrashes about violently. Okay. Spirits. Eh. Spirits of smoke and air. Elemental kami. When in, uh, enraged, they entangle their victims in nets of smoke and suffocate them by stealing the air from their lungs. Hmm. Hmm. Still finding, and there's still some basic items around up here. Might get hurt here. <laughs> I'll pull back just so maybe make it less likely to hurt me. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay, got him. Shoot. Can I eat during the middle of this? <laughs> I don't have actually a whole lot left of sake it can do right immediately. This guy hurts. Uh Kodama. I don't know which of these is more effective against them, technically. So I end up using the middle one here. Okay, got him. That was close. <laughs> Alright, I need... Uh, oh, there's a sake. I need food. Nope. Yep, that's not working out. Our strength is really low at the moment. Guess that means technically we'd want to avoid enemies that would uh, deal more physical damage, but the problem is I can't. Uh, I can't easily distinguish which those are. But yeah, exactly, Dundee. It's uh, pretty stylish. I guess that's how it also ended up with a higher uh, score, too. Although really to end up at the top, you got to have pretty high on a lot of things, especially this year. Uh, I guess uh, this year the scores have been higher than usual overall. A form of water yokai. Amphibian creatures takes forms of turtle shells in their back. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Hmm. I mean, I can't tell what I should use against them. Can't tell that I'm now in danger of dying in the next encounter. <laughs> What is that? <laughs> I was say, it looks like a wall. <laughs> oh, look at that. <laughs> Nurikabe. This type of yokai takes the form of walls. No wonder. Fences and other such barriers in order to block the paths of travelers for reasons unknown. They're relatively harmless, but frustrating. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's actually pretty funny. So he's going to try to block me? Is he going to attack? I guess not. He hit me. All right. Yeah, he's actually doing damage. He did one damage. I actually got hurt by something pretending to be a wall. <laughs> Tore. Uh, okay. Willpower plus two. We need that. We've got RD plus two plus three.
Dunchas. Great for spirit. Our spirit is really high. Not helpful though in terms of strength. Hmm. Problematic. <laughs> exactly. Then the wall mimics. <laughs> okay, turn the corner and kill Ninja Warrior. All in a day's job. Oh, there we go. Saki. That's what I need. Oh, shoot. Okay. Now we're going to die. Fire Kami. Hmm. Uh, okay, prepare to die. We're down to two now. Missed me twice. Uh. Okay, he's dead. And he was hurting spirit, too. Strength, our strength is really low, but he was mostly hurting spirit there. Oh, no. It's another one. I want to go get that socket, but oh, fine. <laughs> oh, no. This guy caught up. Good, got him in one turn. Not AB. Please don't. Yes, okay. Got him too. Saki did not do well enough for our strength. Really need some rice about now. Anybody want to leave out a rice offering for the uh, invader? Oh shoot, alright, just got chased down. This guy's gonna kill us. We eight, we are hit strength hit zero. Oh yeah, okay, it said you die. I was gonna say, I haven't seen anything change. Oh yeah, the bottom of the log says you die. <laughs> There's also a more prompt. Uh it is a sad thing that your adventures have ended here. <laughs> Alright. Well, and then where's it go? Okay, it goes back to the main screen. All right. Well, I can't see a whole lot more. I mean, the theme is great. I've got to explore the theme a bit. I can't see a whole lot more strategy involved in it, uh, unfortunately. But, uh, yeah, it does seem uh, like a pretty good job for 70 RL still. I especially like the, uh, the yeah, just the overall theme, the fact that there was uh, music playing. The descriptions are great. And the... Um, uh, yeah, the ASCII too. Uh, nice, especially also some uh, foreground, background stuff going on. All right, so the next one, uh, yeah, we're going to skip over this one as well because I played it already. Um, this is a, a really great uh, 70 row with Hooves of Fire. A lot of fun. Um, I played that in the, back in uh, March. So these, the, those videos are, are that video that I played this one in. Uh, it's on YouTube. Uh, I ended up uploading that one. Check it out there if you're interested. Also on the uh, traditional roguelikes subreddit, I wrote a little uh, summary of the game. Other tools used. Rex Paint. Actually, speaking of Rex Paint, I'm working on a new version right now. Uh, haven't released, and I've done a lot of patches, but I haven't released an official version and uh, or a full version in a while. I mean, it's been a couple of years now, so. Going to be releasing that sometime soonish. For all the developers and artists out there. Okay, so the next one we're actually going to play then on the list is Beneath Phelan Wood. Uh, this one we'll play online. And what do we need to know here? Also, uh, Beneath Phelan Wood has been updated and you can download it on my Patreon. Yeah, I checked that out now, yesterday. I was looking for the latest version. That's. Uh, pay only so we'll be using this original version but oh yeah that reminds me the game by kevin cole so this is the, by the uh 70 rail by the developer of hack um the h-a-q-u-e hack came out i guess been at least several years ago three or four years ago now uh fellow druid has gone missing survived long enough to discover his fate okay so arrow keys to move um while in druid form, S to shapeshift, A to open your inventory. All right, so S and A. And space to interact, we can pet our cat. K 
kill all enemies and toggle storm. We're not going to use these. These are obviously cheat codes. Uh, M for the map. All right. So basically A, S, and M, and P if we need to pet the cat. <laughs> and what else do we have here? Okay. Let's get this started. Boom. Going to... Little loading thing in the top left here. Gonna change the size and fix it up here in a second. One second, let me get the size and everything working right here. Well met, Druid. I'm gonna get rid of this. You have been chosen by the Grove for a dangerous quest. One of your fellow druids has gone missing. The wise and powerful Astrozoi. Take this amulet. As long as you wear it, the forest will revive you even if you should perish. Oh, yeah? You must discover what evil befell Astrozoi. You will find the answers in the cave he sought. Oh, I like that animation there going up. All right, um, apparently beneath Phelan Wood. Nice, got music here in this one too. I am going to have to get rid of this because apparently this game does not do that like some games do. Wait a minute, whoops, shoot. Press the wrong button, wonderful. One second. <laughs> some games are good about getting rid of this. Yeah, okay, sure. All right, sorry about that. Press space. Ah, it's thank you, Dundee. <laughs> Commands there. All right, here we go. We have three characters. Choose your druid. Thakri. Uh, power bonus when health is low. Uh, this one has a familiar, a cat. I guess that's where you get to pet the cat. May one. We have Hazel. They're weaker. Elf Sight. You never miss with thrown objects. Brindle. All right. Let's play with the cat. We'll be weaker, but I guess our cat might be helpful. <laughs> Make sure. All right, yeah, we can see everything well enough. Nice, got music and everything, and I can you can see the uh, the hack type of aesthetic, sort of here. Very large large pixel aesthetic. No scan lines though, <laughs> but yeah, I like the aesthetic. All right. Uh, um, all right, so there's no other instructions though. How do we actually examine things either, I wonder? Uh, I'm gonna press P to pet the cat. Hazel purrs contentedly, okay. Oh, okay, Karaspe says it feels like Baba is you, but without the dithering. Yeah, I guess uh, I could say that too. Uh, what is this thing to our east? Pay space to pick up item, all right. Uh, well, but what is it? Can I put your cursor? No. Oh, uh, I guess I have to press uh, A to check our inventory. Okay, so yeah, A to select. All right, what is this here? A flute. Use throw combine in combine items. Move, drop. Okay, wonder what our flute does. Check that out later. Um, this is moss. Uh, okay, we just picked up moss. There's no way to get a description of these items though. Hmm. So I don't know what we'll use it for just yet. All right, S, S to shift. I uh, wonder if we should test what that does. What do we do? All right, do we get? Do we always change into the same thing every time? Actually, I don't know what these are in the top right corner. What does all that mean? Active and pocket. Uh, there's a RAM. I guess that's active. That's us right now. We are sated, so apparently we have to worry about food as well. 
this definitely made us more powerful. Uh, stunner attacks have a chance to stun. Hmm. Let's see. All right, a oh S to swap. We can swap. Wow, peace mode. There we go. Oh, okay. Active and pocket are there. Wonder what these two in the back are for then. This here is a carnivore. Kills restore energy. Hmm. Looks like we can switch freely. Yeah, a ram. <laughs> uh, okay. I like the uh, movement. Uh, yeah, as you're further away, you can see it pixelates things. A zomberjack samples forth. All right, <laughs> like a, a zombie lumberjack. Right, gotcha. A uh, naked skull shambles forth. Uh, what just happened? So there's, hmm, not quite sure. Didn't stun anything. The thing in the back disappeared, and there's no log though. Oh wait, some, this up here moved. This, we, this went down to zero, and then it sw swapped with something in the back. All right, we got took a little bit of damage there. I'm not sure what this is. I guess that must be energy. Yeah. All right. Zomberjack is stunned. Okay, that's what I was waiting for. I still don't quite know what this is here. Zomberjack has fallen. Swapping is apparently a free action. Maybe. This guy might just be slow. Fallen. Alright, I switched. Oh, whoa, what? Oh, now we're. Hmm. Now we're swapping between these two. Uh, okay, so W is wolf, and R is ram. Two, four, two, three. Hmm. I don't quite know what those numbers mean. I guess those are the numbers of the number of attacks. It seems like it might be. Hey, Galen. Um, yeah, it seems like those are the number of attacks, I guess, and automatically swapped. Uh, this became zero, and then it swapped blown cards in the back, I guess. Huh. And I wonder how these cards change. If they change. Can we pet? <laughs> in wolf form, we pet our cat. <laughs> uh, okay, health comes back, actually, over time, slowly, too. Alright. We have moss and a flute. I don't know what else we'd use our inventory for. Not quite sure else what else we might find out here. Exploring away. Okay, some enemies, and there's something to the north of us as well. Yeah, I was wondering about different forms. Yeah. <laughs> Dogs petting cats, what a fantastical place. <laughs> Right. Yeah, I'm not gonna go. In. Oh, whoa, whoa! Cat on the attack, and two items to the north. Hmm. Well, uh, can't move diagonally, but our cat is now in the battle. Uh... Oh, look, we can change directions without actually using a turn. It's kind of interesting. <laughs> well, we move into something adjacent to us. All right. Uh... Oh, now we're stuck out here. Stupid cat. <laughs> Alright, fine. We'll go this way and let our cat come up in the other way. Alright, so we'll see what happens now. We have uh, our, our one left on our wolf here. Our right, wolf is now zero. Okay. Wolf was zero, and then it went to the back and became three again. Hmm. And now it's up at the front. So we have... Okay, so you can save a card over here. You can save one form that you want to swap into at any time if you so we gotta like, save our RAM and uh, the others just keep cycling. Yeah, <laughs> this cat is apparently is very aggressive. But I guess it's as long as they restore health too, I guess it's fine. Critical hit. Naked skill. <laughs> uh, pick up the item. What is this item? I have to actually check. I'm gonna go pick this up for first, then check. Okay, now I have to unshift so that we can check out our inventory. We're back to wizard form again. 
What is this? That's a mushroom. I have no idea what it does. Oh, what if we combine it with moss? Look at that in a second. What is this? Root. Huh. All right. Well, let's uh, combine it with the moss and we made a potion thing. Speed potion. Okay. Um, a root and some moss made a speed potion. <laughs> What if we combine, what if we throw the mushroom into our speed potion, I wonder. Now what is it? It's now a health potion. <laughs> okay. Um, that's an idea, yeah, eating the items gets you a new form. Actually, wait. Oh yeah, by using, we can use them individually. That's true. Huh, I don't know, I guess we'll find out. But yeah, I wonder what other forms we can get. I just drew a new one that happened to be a wolf. You had two ram cards before? Oh, did we have two before? Huh. Oh. Hmm. What is that? A moonflower. Apparently there's some kind of a forest here, a forest creature, more moss, all right, two moonflowers and moss. Okay, let's talk to this day. Well, I assumed I could talk to him. Can't actually even move on to him. Oh, space to investigate, right? Here we go, investigating. This is the spirit of the forest, right, spirit of the forest. I should pay homage and uh, ask for a blessing. Welcome, druid. You are far from home. Well, Ahmed Spirit, I humbly ask for a safe passage through these woods. I would rather you left. My home has seen enough intruders of late. Uh-oh. Uh, I can say I'm sorry, Great Spirit, but I must find the other druid lost in these woods. I don't care what you would rather <laughs> I'm staying. My heart calls me onward, Spirit. I am bound to follow. All right, I'll go with the uh, neutral here. Oh, it disappeared. Uh, yeah, it was glowing like an item, but it wasn't an item. Just uh, <laughs> just the spirit of the forest. They glow to you. Uh, huh. Alright, so I, I thought that might lead to a, a, a wolf. Okay, I guess it's a zombie wolf. <laughs> Sheesh. Go cat. Actually, is the cat gonna heal itself? Okay, looks like you found... what is this? A rock. Oh, uh, okay. Another rock. And then there's also some kind of... this thing next to us is glowing. Some kind of big rock. Investigating rock thing. This is... oh, this stone has been damaged by magic. I can sense Estrazoi's spell work. Ah, perhaps he was attacked. Ah, okay, so we're investigating, yes. Giant forest clam. <laughs> you see a D card. Hey, yeah, how did that get up there? There is a D card now. Where, do the, where are these cards coming from? I'm not noticing when these cards are appearing. Or is that... Oh, is that the deer? Ah, oh, that must be the deer. I think, yeah, they did become the... I think they might have joined us. Yeah, we talked to the deer spirit. It must be them. Oh, here comes another one. Investigate this dude. There is a strange man here. He is playing a mandolin badly. <laughs> ah, hello, druid. I was wondering if you might spare a flower for me. I want to give it to a lady fair. Ah, we do have two moonflowers. The flower is not mine to give, blah, 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 here. They take this with the blessings of the forest. Sure, we've got two of them. I don't even know what to do anyway, so there you go. Now what? Hmm, well, okay. Maybe that'll help us later. Oh, here's something else to investigate. But there's a zombear as well. Boom. 
Huh, our, our W is not coming down at all. Whoa, okay, that hurt my health. Good, dead. I think we need to heal our uh, cat friend here. Let's combine the mushroom and some moss. That gives us a speed po- oh, what? Oh, it's a defense potion now. Hmm. Combine it with the moonflower. What does that give us? A magic potion. What the heck's a magic potion gonna do? <laughs> I have no idea. Oh, 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 oh! Yes, okay, Galen, you're very correct. I'm not even shape-shifted. I'm, I'm being stupid. Uh, can only pay attention to so many things while streaming and talking. Uh, I forgot. You're right. <laughs> we weren't shape sifted. Oops. No wonder I was getting my butt kicked there. Stats bad. Um, Hazel is not actually returning to normal. I like the animation on that. Completely forgot we were a wizard again. <laughs> Turned back into a wizard to talk to the spirit. Alright, Hazel's not, so I guess I have to use a potion on Hazel here. Yeah, new game plus streaming is hard, true. <laughs> uh, yes, but now we will shapeshift. Boom. Wolf explore mode. And there comes another zombie jack. Got it, so we can both attack at once. Whoa! All right, we have now. All right, so now we're the deer. Ooh, I think we're really powerful as a deer. Whoa, huh? Uh, that disappeared fast. <laughs> also, actually, our hit. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure actually what the energy is really yet. Hmm. We're still sated though. I mean, it says sated. Uh, I'm, and I assumed that was energy. I assume it's not actual hunger. Hmm. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Huh. Wait. This is a big open dead end area, isn't it? Looks like it. Kind of funny just walking around. <laughs> oh, that's right, we can go down the stairs or ladder. Descend into the depths. These caves are ancient. Many creatures have made their homes in these walls. Many have met their end here. I hope Astrozoi is not among them. Oh, I was standing on something here. A root, right? Oh, now we're hungry. And our energy thing is 46. I guess we'll now find out if that's uh, actual hunger as well, because we're going to eat something here. Let's eat uh, a mushroom, I guess. I'm not going to eat a rock. <laughs> Well, we have to use it. I guess use means eat. Nope, not sure what that did. Uh, the mushroom did not help. Maybe a root. I assume use is eat. I mean, there's nothing else we can do. Okay, alright, the root helped. Mushrooms did not. Root helped. <laughs> Uh, mushrooms a heal? I don't know. Maybe. Could have been. Uh, but the root was. This one, we do have a healing potion. I've been waiting for our cat to get low enough to use it, I guess, on the cat. Can I guess we could do that? Use... Your, I, I don't know if we can. That's actually... Hmm. I was originally planning on using a health potion on our cat. But, because our cat is not... Our health is not coming back. Unlike ours. Could we throw it at the cat? 
Seems like that might be wasteful. Uh, but yeah, it might work. For now, it's not a big deal, but and this potion was a magic potion, which uh, I'm not actually sure what that does. And I still don't know what a flute is. Uh, the flute, uh, the, oh, the, the root is the same color as, as energy. Uh, mm -hmm. Oh, what about the flute? Flute. Oh, okay. I played the flute and our cat's defense went up. Hmm. All right, so now we're in the underground here. Oh man, Zombear, these guys are tough. Ouch. Stunned him. Oh shoot, got critted. Oh no, die already, that's right. What is that on the ground there? Ah, uh, to send. It is a trapdoor thing. Hmm. Or uh, it looks like a. Is that a locked trapdoor? Probably. Probably need a key to get in there. Just walk back and forth to heal. Oh, I guess that makes us hungry too. One small drawback. Ah, uh, so we we're saying, yeah, this is probably health because it's red. That makes sense. Oh, and actually, if you're saying the color uh, of the root was the same as our and our uh, hunger, the hunger is actually changing as it gets lower. It was green earlier, now it's yellow. A stink horn. Our cat's actually kind of hanging back now. Oh no, that's because they're behind us. Couldn't actually get up. Oh, I guess I need to wait. I don't have to wait until... Oh, wait a minute. Our health's not coming back. Why is our health not coming back? Hmm. Maybe it's because we're hungry? Our health is not coming back anymore. Uh oh. <laughs> Could be because we're hungry. That could mean bad encounters ahead. A mite. Here's the key we needed. Oh yeah, wait, is the root now yellow? Mm -hmm. It's yellow. Hmm. Yep, we're in healing again. Oh uh, shoot, it's another one of these things. Pulling back while we heal. Cat ran away. <laughs> Attack! Good, didn't get crit a bunch this time. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure Dundee Rocks should be able to be throwable for damage. I hadn't done that yet. Probably should start doing that. Probably becomes even more important too once we uh, get lower. I'll do that right now. Throw a rock. Here we go. Throwing. Uh, boom. Nailed him. Alright, it uses it up too. Wait, what? Oh, shoot. Oh, he dropped a mushroom. Uh-oh. We've been weakened. Oh, the deer came back. <laughs> it 
seems like you can just randomly get them. All right, what is this thing? Investigate. Um, yeah, it's true. It's nice. It's nice. The switching form doesn't end your turn. Uh, I found a carved amulet of bone on a leather string. It's cracked down the center, splitting an engraving of a tree. Uh, probably long, yes, belonged to Asher's way. Yes, figured. I gave it to him three summers ago. Okay. Hmm. What do we need to use here? There's the key. Yep, mushroom restored health. What does the moonflower do on its own? I don't actually don't know. Oh, it's magic. What does the actually magic do though? <laughs> we still don't know what the magic potion does. All right, so we have the key. We can actually exit if we want to. I'd like to find more food, but I don't know. It feels like I'm not quite sure yet in playing this game. How much we need, uh, or whether we're more likely to find food or if we should die. There he is again. Oh, it's the same dude. Greetings, Druid. Toss a flower to your singer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, hmm. Only if you promise to get better at that. <laughs> All right, fine. I'll give him the flower. Don't even know what it does yet. Anyway, well, it's magic something, but we already used one to make a potion. A mite. Back again. Moss. Wait. Moss. I used moss. What just happened? Lucky. Ah. <laughs> lucky three. Oh. Damn. Alright, so eating moss uh, makes you lucky, apparently. Or that was an A status effect. I was hoping... Uh, I had noticed what it did before. I did that once. Makes you lucky for only the next three turns. Hungry now. Too bad our luck didn't solve our hunger problem. <laughs> Might have explored most of this map. Oh no. Oh, double no. Oh man, we're still gonna die. Yeah. Shape shifting, immediate. Ouch. Gotta kill this guy really fast. It's not gonna happen though. Retreat. There we go. Nice. Okay, that worked out. There we go. I switched to the wolf because that actually increased uh, our hunger. Hunger and energy got the same thing in this game, apparently. So as their ability is to kill to restore energy, and we went up from 46 to 48 on that kill. And uh, wait a minute. So does that mean? No, I don't. I'm not quite sure what that one does, but. Oh, it was a plus 10 to hit and evade? Oh yeah, I hadn't noticed that. The lucky. Alright, another thing to investigate here. A bird is flitting around. It seems panicked and confused. I wonder how it got so deep into the caves. I'll steer it in the direction of the forest. I'll leave it be. If it is meant to live, it will find its way home. Uh, sure. Steer it away. We're playing a nice guy. Actually, wait a minute. I was going to say we're playing a nice guy wizard, but with a familiar. Where did our cat go? It's gone. Oh, now he's back. <laughs> hmm. 
hunger is an issue. Alright, time to get out of here. I think we're done with this floor. Here we go. Oh, shoot. This could become a problem. Oh, look at that. We got a bird card for that. Huh. Fly. You can attack twice each turn. Uh, yeah, that's my guess. Uh, Chocobo that the uh, cat's hiding because of low HP. It's been doing that ever since it got down to its current level. It has attacked a couple times, though, if it gets an opportunity to do so. So, wow. Uh, Flurry, you can attack twice each turn. We're going to be able to evade enough. Yes! Got him. Still don't have enough to heal, though, which is a problem. I mean, not heal. Uh, get our hunger back. Oh, we need, oh, yeah. Heal. We don't have high enough to restore. We have a health potion I can use. Hmm. Hmm. This unlocks the hatch to the next level. Okay. Wait. Space to descend. All right, there we go. I've opened it. It opens automatically. I pressed use, but the key has crumbled to dust. Dust. All right. Uh, hmm. well, I'm gonna go down with lower health anyway. The grove did not mention any ruins beneath these caves. The air here is thick and smells of decay. I should be cautious. I have not come this far to turn back. Hmm, there's like runes on the walls of these ruins. Alright, we got a root. Just barely staying sated here. Restore our health real quick. Your hunger goes down faster when you're restoring health. Ah, that makes a lot of sense. So actually, health potions would kind of uh, prevent you from getting hungry too fast. empty ruins. Uh, you know, I completely forgot we have a map too. M. I was thinking that because once it can help us find uh, like a door or get back to an earlier area if we need to. I'm not going to remember all this because this looks like a particularly large map. Uh oh, a skill knight. Uh oh, thought I was going to take him out in that shot. Did not work. Skill Knight is stunned. Good. Hmm, dropped a skull thing. A skull. Use to roll combine move drop. Huh. I wonder what we do with a skull. A skull lord. Uh, uh oh. <laughs> uh, that doesn't seem good. guy's gonna hurt. Shoot. Wish we could eat that. I don't know, there's a mushroom that... Mushroom does what again? I forgot what a mushroom does when we eat it. Oh, that's health, isn't it? 
Yeah. Hmm, we restored some health by switching back? How do we restore health? Or we're hungry at the moment. Okay, so you can only combine two different things. Uh, I wonder what the skull can be used for. Also, still haven't used a magic potion. Probably pretty valuable, but I don't know. Not one of those things you don't want to die with something useful in your inventory, right? Could restore. Could be like an elixir. Restores all of our health and uh, uh, hunger. Oh, shoot. Oh, he's chasing down our cat. <laughs> and let me see here. Let's throw a rock at him. <laughs> hey, the rock's still there. Good. Oh, shoot, he's gone. We got a critical hit, too. Go, rock. Damn it. He's chasing down. He's going to kill our cat. Our cat is down to 13. I don't know where the hell he went, though. He is very persistent. Oh, shoot. Oh well, our cat is gone. Cat left him, led him on a wild goose chase there. Eat the skeleton. <laughs> Eat the skull in front of skeletons as a threat. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> uh, I hate it when I can't get around these guys. Shoot. Uh, I want. Whoa, 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 cat. Where's cat? Our cat is dying. Our cat got caught. This is... I hear it sad. Hazel has teleported to safety. Huh. Dude, might die already. Hazel is gone. Hmm. What if we put a the mo put this mushroom inside a skull? Combine the skull, make a skull mushroom. But I don't know. Actually, we really need this because we're gonna die. Uh, let me see. All right, I'm gonna use this magic potion. I guess. Okay, that did almost nothing. <laughs> it gave us one point of health. What else did it do? Nothing. Maybe permanently increase something of ours, like our power. I don't know. Uh, hmm, I am not actually sure what that just did. It'd be nice if there was a message log or something so you didn't have to actually compare everything on the screen to the state before in order to tell if so, what changed. Alright, um, hmm. Oh, we could combine the flower and the skull. See what that does. We made something. It's a curse potion. Huh, I wonder what that does. Curse potion. I mean, it's probably not good for us, uh, us to drink. Something we'd want to throw. I guess I'm going to have to use our mushroom here. There we go. All right, we're down to running out of stuff. wonder if we combined our flute with something, what would happen?
Ooh, there's a, a skull looking thing and is guarded by a lot of stuff. Oh, shoot, I think we're about to die. Uh, gonna have to pull out all the stops here. It's a good rock. <laughs> I accidentally hit use. Nice. That actually worked out well. Trying to put some distance. As soon as enemies are out of... can't see you anymore, it seems like they don't really chase you, so I pulled way further away so we can just deal with this one guy. Um... This is still not going to be good, though. Oh, nice! Critical hit right when we need it. Hmm. Something tells me those guys did not leave, so I'm gonna come at them from this angle. Yep, there's one right there. I'd like to circle around and grab the rock and throw it at him again, but actually, will that put us ahead? Uh oh. Huh. Oh, no way, that was the only guy. Uh oh, he might just be to the north. Nope, he's gone. Oh, nice. I can pick up the rock again. Hey! Oh, shoot. <laughs> Well, I guess this works too. Where the other one goes, the question. Yes, now we got two rocks. <laughs> Wonder why our earlier rock was destroyed. I guess that, that very first time I threw a rock, it got destroyed. I guess it was just bad luck. Okay, there goes another one. <laughs> Shouldn't have said anything. <laughs> Had to happen eventually. Man, they ran fast. Oh, shoot. There's the big one. Really should use the rock on the big one and take them out. Are they like spawning in there? That would be bad. <laughs> exactly, Chocobo. Druids are known for their mastery of nature. Observe their power over rock. Oh shoot, I'm gonna get attacked. Seeing if I can waste a turn here. No, nope, using the flute doesn't help. Waste a turn. I could throw the potion at him. I wanted to throw it at the other guy though. Because he's gonna kill us. I wonder what the curse does to them, even, if anything. Oh well, I'm gonna I'm gonna throw it at this guy. Oh, that was an area of effect and we just got cursed along with it. <laughs> Okay, did not know that. Well, he's dead anyway. We're no longer cursed, at least. Oh, shoot. Here they come. It's our rock. They're gonna steal our rock. Hmm. I decided to take a completely different... A uh, tick man, huh? Uh-oh. I don't have anything to give this guy this time. It's it's the mandolin guy. I don't believe it. The bard is here. Ah, druid, spare me a single flower for my love. Sorry, dude. Yeah, don't got one. All I got are lots of things that want me dead. Critical. Oh, well, I was hoping. 
or critical. Oh, you can investigate again to give him a flower in a moment. All right, now we're gonna die. Stupid light. Oh, well, we managed to get out of there. Run away! Oops, ran the wrong way. Now I'm dead. Oh, wait a minute, what? How do we have 15 health? Some of our health came back. I'm not going to be able to get away from this guy, though. It's a stronger enemy, it said Red Widow. Here's where I was trying to get back to. I wanted to get back to this skull thing. So we could investigate it. It's whatever they were guarding. There was a voice coming from that human skull. Hey, druid, down here. Yes? Pick me up and carry me around. I'm begging you. I haven't moved in years beyond counting. Uh, I can say, all right. Absolutely not. How are you talking? How are you talking, pal? I was felled by a necromancer long ago. This place remains corrupted by his power. Oh, well, I wanted to pick him up. He didn't let me have that option again. I have to read through it again. All right, just wanted the option to pick him up again. What can we do with him? I say as I'm standing next to the guy who's gonna kill him. Talking skull. Use, throw, combine. I can throw him. <laughs> uh, combine him with something. That's funny. Oh shoot, I'm stuck in this room. Nope, now we got him around him. They're nice enough to let us out. Hey, you can pick up stuff for free too, can I? Yep, look at that. Picked up something for free. Got my rock back. Is this a Planescape Torment reference? Uh, with the Talking Skull, Johnson? I'm not sure, actually. I never actually played Planescape Torment. I got it sent, given to me as a gift many, many years ago, and I never actually ended up playing it. I've certainly read about it, and tons of people have played it. Just never had a chance. Hmm. Alright, so we did get some health back, but I don't think we have enough to take on this guy here. Hmm, I don't know which direction we should go in either. Well, we're not going to get away from him. We already killed our cat. Actually, it wasn't this one. It was a different one. Well, it might have been this one, but... Hmm, alright, well, whatever. Final stand. And it's over, as predicted. Game over. Try again. Change druid. Huh. I wonder what was good about that druid. We had a cat, which is helpful, but... Well, let's try that one again. I guess. Uh, can play it faster now, too. So this was... We can now know a little more about them. So let's see. This one... Less evasion. Higher defense. More power. You never miss with thrown objects. That doesn't seem especially useful. Dockery. Now this is like our power bonus when health is low. Hmm. Seems like this is more of a easier one to play with, probably. I know Astrozoi well. I always thought him a fool, though I have never wished him ill. Hmm. I see. So we have... Each of the druids has a different connection. Uh, I must find it. That's a different connection to the uh, druid we're looking for. All right, here's our item. What is it? It is Gnarl's Bane. Huh. We can use it to do something. I don't know what. I mean, I guess it's for chopping, but... I get two Moonflowers. And also some Moss. The Moss gives us luck. Also, we can mix it with stuff. Combine it immediately and get an Attack Potion. Uh, also, we get different forms, right? Different druids get different forms. We get an alligator. And, uh... What is this one? A hardy... A beef or, uh... I guess it's a boar? 
and there's a C in the back there. Oh, so there's another crocodile. Crocodile and boar hardy consumes energy to restore health. Uh, isn't that what we normally do? Hmm. All right, what are the other ones? Cruncher. Higher chance to critically hit. Ooh, I like that. <laughs> I like me some crocodile. Spirit of the forest, um, I need not your permission, spirit, but I would have your blessing. Huh. I wonder what these other options do. I'm going to say I don't care, I'm staying. Does that mean they don't join you then? Yeah, we I guess we didn't need to look at this. There's nothing to actually get here. It's just part of the story. Oh shoot, now I just got myself trapped. Uh mistake. Big mistake. Hmm, actually we're pretty effective though. <laughs> Attack potion. Um, <laughs> explore all the dialogue options guilt free. Yeah. Yeah, it's nice when there's different uh, characters. It certainly gets you, especially in 7DR, it makes it, I mean, if uh, makes it even more likely someone will want to play again because you already want to explore the different uh, options that you can have right away. That is a root. the root. Whoa. Definitely pretty powerful. What's that? Oh, it's another root. I like eating roots. And we got a rock. guy's fast. Moved and attacked in the same turn. Defense potion. I think I have a potion there. Pick up rock. Check map. We already know the way out. Probably found enough stuff here, I guess. Well, no, I'll go over here real quick. Right, did end up to the north anyway. Down we go. Oh, I can't actually pick this up. And... 
running out of things to combine. <laughs> also, I still don't actually know what this axe does. Gnarl's pain. Should probably explore that before long. Could come in handy. Whoa, there's a long tunnel. Let's see, it gets longer. It was my mother's favorite axe. What do I do with it? No idea. Wow, even more stuff. Find a lot of stuff here. Can't pick it up. There we go. Mmm, crocodile. Gee, too much stuff. Not sure what to do with that axe. Feel like I want to drop it just because I have no idea what it does. Might also be what's enabling some of our power, though. Oh, what is the... Oh, sorry! Oh, Yeah, I covered that up with this down here. What does the boar do? Uh, the boar uh, restores... I mentioned earlier the boar restores... Um, uh, it said they were, the thing, it was weird, it says they restore, use your energy to restore health, but that's what you normally do. Maybe it's extra HP, yeah? Hmm. Yeah, the boar. Oh, did I say something else I'm gonna go? We know it's a boar. <laughs> um. Alright, uh, well, gee, having trouble here. Yeah, it might be faster, I guess that's the... Kind of the other on the other possibility. <laughs> mushroom. What if we combine a mushroom and a rock? Nothing happens. Okay, so you can't do that. Attack potion and a mushroom. <laughs> it made a health potion. Okay. So hmm. So combining any two items seems to make a potion, and combining another item into that potion will turn it into the kind of potion that that item is used for to to create. It seems. All right, let's pick up this root first and eat it immediately. That's pretty much what we do with those. And then uh, select this, drop that. Oh, whoops, pass it up. All right, got all that stuff now. Music reminds you of Dwarf Fortress. Yeah. <laughs> nice, uh, relaxing guitar. Oh, another long one going back. Oh, whoa. Didn't see this last time. What is this? There are dwarves here. Attempting to scout the caves. Hail and well met, druid. We're here to kill the monsters coming from this cave. You're doing a bad job so far. Have you seen another druid pass this way? Uh, you're the first we've seen. We're about to make camp. Join us for a spell. We have food to share. I cannot, I must travel deep into caves. Farewell. Food? Mm. You should leave this place. I will handle this. All right, I will join you. All right. I joined them. Look at that. 100. Nice. Anytime we need some food, you just come back here. <laughs> that was nice of them. Didn't have to eat that uh, root a second ago. That's my kind of encounter. 
Is this... Oh, I'm just going to go the other way. According to the map, it looks like to go way back west. That's all that's over here. Go, 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 go! Oh, whoops. I should probably switch back. Well, I think, anyway. I'm not, I haven't really been comparing their stats to mine. Is this another long corridor? It is. I'm going to wait on that one. Um, this is the post jam build, Johnson. Actually, no, wait. This might be this this seventy year old jam because the post jam build is only on their Patreon, I think. Yeah, so this is the one that they have downloadable on itch. Uh, for playing, I'm doing. I'm not playing the seventy year old builds as I mentioned at the beginning. I'm doing only. I'm doing post jam builds since I'm not reviewing anyway, or not official reviewing. Long corridors. A might. Oh, what the? Hey. Stinkhorn. This guy's actually can uh, give you some kind of effect. Yeah, we're weak. They make you weak for a little while, or they can. It's a side effect of their attack. Cut that out. Another rock. Uh, bird, if we want the bird. You can. Get them on your side or not, basically. Steer in the right direction, leave it be. Oh, that's right, I'll just leave it be. We already got to see what they do last time. They're okay. I get attacked twice, but against stronger enemies it seems less useful. Oh, man, I get ambushed. So yeah, this is the dev of uh, Hack, who made this H-A-Q-U-E Hack. Mentioning earlier, you can see a resemblance in the uh, aesthetics. Oh, you found the key, which apparently we need to get out of here. Defense. A lot of potions. Now that I think of it, I wonder if, yeah, I guess when you use your uh, energy to restore health, it, I mean, it reduces your energy more quickly, so you should use health potions, again, I was mentioning this earlier, I guess, as a kind of uh, kind of food in that sense. And you know, currently we have a lot, so we should probably try to remember that next time, but we're not getting hurt a whole lot. Vicious. Man has fallen. We already saw this last time, but it's just a story. I guess we don't need to look at story stuff. And I mean, I hope it doesn't have an effect anyway. <laughs> Oh no, he's going to get the first hit. <laughs> oh well. It's pretty weak anyway. Whoops. Went full circle. Oh wait, where was the exit? Oh, we found a key. I haven't seen the exit, have we? Um, is there something we missed over here, I think? Not in here, around the corner the other way. Oh, W is skip a turn? Oh, is it? 
<laughs> I'll have to see when there's another enemy nearby. That would make sense. I guess it's kind of annoying that you can't see the numbers when you're standing behind a <laughs> obstruction like this. Huh. Alright, I guess we still have to go back around the other corner. Alright, now we're starting to get into the low food situation again. Oops. Um. Alright, check another corner. Oops, went too far. Uh, now we're hungry. Oh, it's this guy. I don't have a flower for him, though. It's the only thing he wants, right? Yeah, he just disappears. wonder what he eventually does for you. But I assume... He does something. Last time we gave him several flowers, but never got anything out of it. Where's the exit? Hey, wait a minute. No. Am I blind? Where's the exit? Way to the south. I think there might be. Oh shoot. Hmm. There we go. Finally had a chance to use one of those. There's another way over here this way. Another one of these long corridors. Okay, yeah. W is the way to turn. Finally, wow. All the way down here. Last place you checked. Okay, finally made it back to the ruins. Let's see if we can survive this time. I don't know, not really in much better shape. I'm gonna end up hungry again. Oh, it's Mr. Skull. Carry him around. Last time we didn't get to see... Uh, all right, we'll carry you around. We didn't get to see if there was any kind of effect from that. What a little mites. Consumes energy to restore health. Hungry again, immediately. <laughs> okay, that got worse. <laughs> what happens when we go back in there? Enemies seem to disappear once they get once you get out of sight. Hmm. 
course, if they disappear and reappear so easily, it makes me wonder if it doesn't make any sense to retreat like that. him. Oh shoot, I'm something else. <laughs> Not back to full for once. Now we're out of health potions. Oh shoot, that was moss. I forgot, it wasn't a root. That was dumb. Wasted. Could have combined it with Skull Friend to see what he does. What is this other one we have? Defense, right? Defense potion, yeah. We'll use that next time we encounter something tough. Seems like it would be a little helpful, or helpful if uh, when you pick up a rock, it automatically targeted, or when you're using a rock, it automatically targets uh, the nearest enemy, rather than just always targets the cells the right or south right, of, the right side of you or southeast of you, right side of you. Hmm. Oh, that's right. Push. Oh, no, it's not instant. Okay. Mm. We're hardened. Working pretty well. Barely was able to hurt us. Actually, didn't hurt us. Defense potion. Mm. Another one. Now, it, now it's selected this cell that's southwest of us. I'm not really sure how the targeting is working. It seems to be picking random targets. Shoot, two of them? Wow. <laughs> uh, hmm. Power, that's right, power bonus when health is low. That's something I haven't been letting happen, but I guess it'll come in handy later. <laughs> Soon enough. Oh no. I used a Moonflower at the end just to see if it would do anything. You know, the usual, gonna die in a roguelike, use all your consumables. It did nothing. <laughs> well, maybe it actually changed their status. I didn't see the status there, but again, there's no message log or any other indicator when things do stuff. You have to actually look for differences. But All right. Anyway, well, it was nice trying a different druid. I'm not going to try the third one. I'm curious. Well, we can at least, I guess we can see what forms they have real quick. Just out of curiosity. Switch to... Brindle with Elf Sight. Not going to play through it, though. Just going to see what uh, other creatures they have and what they do. I know I know him well. He's my dearest friend in the grove. Hmm, perhaps the world. Okay. I must find him. What do we got? What are these? I have a bear. Bear and O. Who's O? Find out what O is in a second once we attack something. Uh, 
our ability is you never miss with thrown objects. So yeah, I guess we did miss a few times this last run, but doesn't seem to be a huge deal. Oh wait, what item do we start with? We start with a potion. Attack potion. Oh, I wonder what the axe is for, really. That's more of a story thing or Oh wait, I forgot to switch. Just wanna see what the Oh wait, bear here is oh whoops. Oh this is uh now we're the an owl, I guess. Oh owl, we have uh Poise, hit bonus when you miss. Huh? After, I guess that means you're more likely to hit on your second hit if you've missed the first time. And our bear is in rage. You gain energy when hurt. Ooh, that's interesting. Hmm. Maybe the axe was for throwing. Oh, yeah! Oh, uh, that's... That's sad to think about only now. <laughs> Good point, Jaguar Dundee. You're right, I bet that was probably useful for throwing. Could have been a very effective throwing weapon. Oh well, all right. Anyway, okay. Okay, we've seen what these do. I'm gonna stop that one for now. That was good. Yeah, I probably should have thrown the axe. So the flute was for adding defense to our cat, uh, which I guess it didn't use <clears throat> when it really needed it. And uh, the axe probably was for throwing. Didn't see the other use. I mean, I used it, but that had no effect. I mean, just described it in the... Uh, uh, the other uh, third druid there had to start with a potion. Okay, so next up, after beneath uh, Phelan Wood. Oh, I put these out of order. Uh, that's right, I did put these out of order. I was going to play this one first <clears throat> and then switch back to Void Shell. Hmm. Atkatha and Absurdia. So uh, I mentioned this actually last week, I think, or yeah, when uh, the developer uh, for Good Friday, also the developer of Catacomb Kids, uh, Tyreek Plummer, he showed up in the, the stream a few times recently and I'd mentioned I was going to be playing his. And at the time I was like, I had no idea what Atkatha is. How do you pronounce that name? And I guess it's Agatha. And there, obviously I didn't realize at the time there's the name of the character here. And obviously in the. Uh, in roguelikes, there's often a, an at theme or RL theme. There's your uh, your dear brother and traveling companion is at, at Alexander. <laughs> at Alexander. I guess it's supposed to be Alexander in the at world. But anyway, so we're going to play... Uh, I guess we can play this one now. Um, it was the order I had it in for today anyway, I think. What is down here? Yeah, that's right. I put Void Shell on the next week. So yeah, today we're going to be playing probably the set, and Agatha will be the last, and then next week I'll be starting with, uh, we're doing Void, or I think next week we're starting with Scrolling Scroll, and then Void Shell and some of these others. I just have them up here on the top here. Um, <clears throat> Alright, so we're going to start with this, we'll play this one. This one has a lot of really cool looking effects anyway, it was neat to see the uh, uh, gifs of this when it was being put together on Twitter. It's like, it's ASCII, but it's ASCII with, you know, a lot of flair. Uh, you know, I guess you could say in that way it's similar to Cogmine, but it's more modern type style flair with stretching and, and rotating and all kinds of stuff. It looks pretty cool. So, we're seeking out the Fable Amulet. Okay. All right, so I don't see any other instructions on here. I was gonna go straight to playing it, and this is a downloadable. And I think this one, a lot of comments, a lot of comments. Oh, this, the download was up here. Um, yeah, this one just doesn't have any post compo. I already downloaded it earlier. Oh, this is a post jam version. All right. AIA, here we go. At Gatha enters the halls of Absurdia, where the laws of the mortal realm are mere suggestions. Somewhere within, oops, I clicked and the entire thing disappeared. I thought it was just going to finish the typing. I didn't want to see it type forever that slowly. <laughs> and here we go, lots and lots of wiggling, wobbling, and moving, and that and whatnot. All right, so full random. I wonder what that means. Gonna change controls just to see what they are. So yeah, what WASD for movement? 
space Conf shift to inspect and view log is tab all right uh, click that can't press escape start the game here we go oh yeah let me uh, rearrange the desktop here it's a quick to menu little button in the top right corner but I'm gonna put oops new markers here it's a little slow I'm gonna put this in the top right and there's a zero in the top left. Why'd the music stop? I didn't turn the music off. Or did I press a button? Why'd the music stop? Also, quit to menu isn't working. I'm trying to press the quit to menu button in the top right corner, it's not doing anything. Weird. Gorilla gauntlets. <clears throat> Perfect for ambushing peasants. What if we press escape? Now I'm trying to get back to menu. I wonder where the sound went. Uh, oh, whoa, the log. Nice. The log pops up when you move over it. Nice little effects there. So that's just giving you your message log. Huh. I was pretty sure the sound should continue. I wonder why that happened. I'm going to just close it down and start it up again. Maybe I pressed something wrong. Well, now I guess we can read this whole thing too. Oh, okay. That was it. Never mind. Um. Right clicking also gives you the info. Targets will. Oh no, so there is no music, I guess. It's just. Alright, I thought it was. Targets, walls, and empty tiles. Diggy claws. Walls will fear you with these. Huh. Alright. Picked up some diggy claws. How do I use them? Can I just. I can't actually walk into the wall though to use them. How do I use them? Do I click on it? No. Right click on it? No. Ah. I have to use the mouse for this. You can't just walk into the wall to use it. That's how you use it. All right, it digs into the wall. Okay, so you actually have to use the mouse. Seems like you should just be able to bump in order to use your current equipment, but maybe you can carry more than one of the same type of thing. I don't know. Vorpal sword cuts off everything except the head. <laughs> Uh-huh. 3d6 targets creatures and items. Hmm. And what is this? Hmm. Disgusting drought. Uh, drinking this would be repulsive. A 411. I'm not sure what 4 out of 11 means. Uh, well, I guess I shouldn't drink it then. <laughs> oh, it's vorpal too. That's not vorpal. Uh, hmm. Okay, we've met some enemies here. A, s a snake. A snake. A snack snake, right. A snake made of string cheese. And an imbecile. A small horned idiot. Healing drought and a, a math bomb. It's dangerous, but the explosions are a plus. Nope, it's a pile of spiders. And an ant. An ant that's only just barely. <laughs> A very small ant is called an ant. <laughs> Alright, our health is down here. Whoops, it's in the, that thing I can't point to without it moving. <laughs> and there's now a 1 in the top left corner. I guess that's our score. An imbecile chucks a spear at... Nope. Oh, they're attacking each other. Enemies attack each other. Oh, nice. I like that spear-throwing effect. He apparently missed, though. He's running away. Got him. So you can only have one potion-like thing. Guess I'll drink this up. And how do I drink it, though? 
How do I actually use the stuff down here? I kind of need to know this. Does anyone else know? Hmm. Is there a help page? There was the controls page. One, two, three. No. Uh, shoot. I don't actually know how to use this. Exclamation mark? No. <laughs> That's just a symbol for it, of course. Um, problematic. Well, I guess I'm going to start just pressing random buttons. WASD for movement. This is for targeting. Okay, yeah, sorry. When I have my cursor over... Uh, all right, so I have my cursor over... Hey, Vectis. Of course I didn't ping Cogmind. <laughs> this isn't a Cogmind stream, so I didn't ping it. I could have dropped a message in the Cogmind uh, channel, but I didn't bother. It was in a different... I put a notice in the uh, just the announcements channel and the 70-year-old uh, channel. Uh, healing drought, self... -made. Oh, you click on yourself. Ah, uh, okay. So anything in the bottom right here, its target is yourself. You click on yourself to use whatever you have in this slot. That must be what it is. And right now our sword, the reason our sword, a sword can actually attack items. Targets creatures and items. So I can chop up these other things. Math bombs, disgusting drought. Let's, so if I trigger, target myself here, boom, okay, there we go. Use the drought. And apparently there's three uses. All right, these little thing marks on the bottom left of it, that's the number of uses for each. So the purple sword actually only has five uses. What if I use the chop this disgusting drought? Uh, okay, just, I don't know if that really was useful, but. <laughs> Two out of three. Ah, I see. So three out of 11 math bombs. That means it has three uses. The maximum possible is 11. All right, got it. 2d4 plus one on the healing. Okay. All right, now I figured it out. You're going to have to actually click on yourself to use these things down. And we have nothing in this slot. I don't know what that slot's for yet. All right, a bug bat, huge fly with leathery bat wings. Okay, and there is a staff of sprouts. It might just be a branch. One per one percent chance to vegetable the room. Uh huh. Okay, we now have it. Staff of sprouts and uh, ranged. Ah, okay. So the first slot here is the range slot. We can now use it. That's cool looking. We can see the the range or max range, and so the first slot is ranged. Nice. What is this? Do? Oh, cool! <laughs> that was neat. We just came up to the second floor. This was like stairs going around up to another floor. We opened the door, and now you can see the background back there moving. Or we can go back downstairs. Neat, huh? Oh, we can actually see things moving on the other floor, too. This is definitely absurd. All right, what's up here to the north? Oh, corn trice. Half chicken, half corn cob. <laughs> we have 12 hit points. That's a lot. And a small ant. I kind of want a math bomb now, just because there's so many of these. I guess you should find out what this does. The staff of sprouts. Hey, actually, wait a minute. It has no limits on its uses, like most weapons do. Uh, shoot. Wait a minute. It just disappeared. Why did that just disappear? Oh, whoa, what the? Oh, wow. <laughs> it like disappeared for a second, then came back. I guess ants can do that. They're just tiny, right?
How do I actually get that guy? I can't actually use this. Never mind. Boom. Whoa. Uh, okay, that produces a lot of vegetation. Oh, there's the dots. They're on the bottom right. 2% chance to vegetate the room. I guess that means to completely fill it. So we only have a few more shots of this. It takes them a while to get through all that. Nice. All right, there's a lot of crazy stuff in here. This is neat. Yeah, the chance is going to go up, Vectus. <laughs> it goes up over time. All right, I, I, uh, uh, a large uh, wet sliding eyeball with two smaller eyes. Okay. Bug bat and quantum mouse. A mouse in two places at once. <laughs> a jealous jelly. A <laughs> jelly. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, and also now I see that ours. Wait, targets walls and empty tiles. Wait, is that them who targets walls and empty tiles? I would have assumed it's this. Targets empty tiles only. No. Hmm. Jelly targets walls and empty tiles with something. Uh, a dubious decoy, a puppet that resembles you, but with a more punchable face. <laughs> all right, all kinds of crazy stuff going on here. Um, whoa. Um, not sure what he's doing with that, but let's uh, slow them all down, I guess. <laughs> So I can whack him with my Vorpal Sword. What's the chance on this? It's now 3%. Oh, wow. We got the Quantum Mouse here. wonder if we could actually find something inside. Jelly. Whoa! Our potion is gone. Let's just eat our potion. Alright, we got it back. <laughs> oh wait, what was that? A, a bowie bow. Don't take a knife to a bow fight. <laughs> uh, replenishable. Replenishable. Oh. Hmm, I guess that means it can drop the arrows and you can get them back or something. Six out of 22. Oh, what is this? Oh, the dubious decoy was... I see. It was the item on the ground. And the health potion has only one left. Oh, shoot. This gets dudes right here again. Oh, I picked up the staff again. And there's diggy claws. And rope sword. And I got the bow back. There's a health potion over there. We'll get that later. Another eye eye and um, a merman, a motherly looking mermaid. <laughs> Funny and orc, a river orc with a big oar. <laughs> Funny and a nice, a knife so nice it cuts twice, attacks twice. Blood belt, a sign that you've mastered vampire judo. <laughs> Uh, 1d4 minus 2. Items destroyed by Fanguses. What? <laughs> uh, here we are firing our bow. How much damage is that doing? 2 out of 6. Merman. Stuffed. Why am I stuffed? Too full to move. Why am I full? Oh, well, what? The merman feeds at get the uh the merman. It's too much. What? I don't quite get that. The merman was feeding us a merman. Huh. Anyway, we're stuffed now. Oh, the orc is here. Oh, shoot. Mm. 
I have a decoy following me. <laughs> oh, now it's not following me. It doesn't look like you. You're a little offended it's working. <laughs> nice. Got the orc. All right. I was running over this way because we're about to die, so I need to pick this thing up here. Heal ourselves, then pick up our decoys again. Our sprout staff now has 5% chance to vegetate the room. And its I don't see any uses on it anymore, though. Does that mean it's zero or what? What was this one? Diggy Claws. Also, we did not get healed very much there. Ooh, we dropped something. Oh, wait. What? Oh, never mind. We stole the decoy. There's our decoy down there. Whoa. Uh, all right, there's another merman. It's watery in here. Two orcs. Actually, we already took out the stuff on the next floor. Maybe we should go get that just because there's things up there. Doesn't look like a very friendly floor there. Pretty neat the way all the floors are connected. Actually, it reminds me last year of playing the... I think it was it was called like Portal Mage or Portal something. Um, it was a really cool 70 RL with uh, different portals to different worlds, and you could let open the portals between different worlds and let them like affect each other. The things that are inside them it's pretty neat. And they were similarly like this. There were worlds that overlapped with each other. Uh, so in other words, impossible looking geometry or, or weird stuff. Uh, they weren't even on different Z levels, too. It was the same Z level. Uh, just opening portals in into different worlds. It was pretty cool. And you could, like, close the doors, and or you could create your own portals. That's right. You could use portal wands to create different portals in walls and connect different worlds. It was pretty cool. I like that idea. It seemed like it needed to be developed a little more. Yeah. yeah it's cool. Uh, look, you'd, you'd probably like it, Vectus. Um, <clears throat> this, too, is actually pretty cool. I like the way this is done. Um Just reminded me of that. All right, so this does not. Uh, this is a weird item. It seems like not very effective. Maybe there's something we don't know about it. 3D6. This seems also really... Actually, oh, you know what? I haven't been using the sword, have I? I think if, you, if we're bumping enemies, we're not using the sword. You have to actually click on them before it'll use your item. So I could have been more effective at that, probably. Oh shoot, this is chasing us. Likeness. It totally looks like treasure. It's a mimic. <laughs> also, it attacks twice. What? It's because it's that knife? <laughs> and there's a... Oh, whoa, what? Wait a minute. Oh shoot, I just grabbed the friggin' blood belt. I didn't want that. Great, just died. Nice, yeah. I like that ending. <laughs> Damn! That was a mistake. I accidentally stepped on the other thing, which replaced our current item. Got to remember not to do that um, because I needed that. I was going to use the, the vorpal blade on the, the vorpal. Yeah, all right. We're going to do that again. Let me back in. <laughs> a fair number of fun things to explore in this game. All right, we can start with the puppet. Actually, it looks like we get to start with one of each thing, right? We got kick and shoes. Uh, knock back enemies with a full force kick. Chainmail balaklava uh, for when you want to rob a knight. <laughs> Wait, what does it do? <laughs> you can actually use it. Agatha drops her kick in case she's a oh, crime a crime sword. Wait, what? I didn't see the crime sword. A sword for doing crimes. <laughs> What? <laughs> Target self. 11 more turns before you can use the chainmail again. I, what did I use it for? I mean, I clicked on myself, but I didn't see what it did. All right, well, we have a crime sword, and what, what was this as a decoy? Huh. Not sure what I want to use the chainmail for, but I guess we'll keep it. It's kind of fun, though, making decoys. Also, I think you can find stuff in grass. I don't know if that's true. Oh, you can. It's kind of annoying because then it makes you want to have to open everything. Oh, 
Lots of crime st themed stuff in this room. You're a bad influence on us. <laughs> hey, I'm not the dev. I usually do play my own games, but not this time. An imbecile and an eight. Okay. There's no way to actually wait, which is kind of annoying. Well, at least I assume there isn't. 11 more turns before you can use it again. What? Hmm. I mean, a lot of turns already passed. Now, oh, the 8 disappeared again. There it is. Eleven more turns before I can use the chainmail again. Is there something wrong with the chainmail? It keeps just saying that. Ow, well, cut that out. Got him stuck up against the other. Oh, shoot, now we're low on health. A knife. Well, the, the chainmail doesn't seem to be... Wait, what? Oh, we went to this place I was. Doesn't seem to be doing anything. No weight key glows, uh huh. Yeah, I had that issue in the pr previous game, but then uh, ended up realizing, or I guess uh, Chocobo mentioned, yeah, it was the W key. So figured that out eventually, but usually it was a big issue. Uh, okay. Gonna die. Uh, door to the next floor. Yeah, so the number in the top left, you can only see part of it up there. It's uh, uh, the current depth or current level you're at three. Last time we were up at five, I think. Sword for doing crimes. Just leaving that S over there because it's almost dead anyway. I think we're gonna die in a second. Kill them with our crime sword. Diggy claws, that is not gonna help. Oh, he's coming down. Oh, shoot. Jellies. Ooh, what is that? A choo-choo chain. This chain will get you to where you need to go. <laughs> Targets creatures, items, and walls. Oh, creatures, creatures, items, and walls. Huh. <clears throat> I just used what's given to me, Vectus. Actually, Jelly's... Can they not hurt? Oh, uh, no. Okay, you heard me. Uh, a, a switcher rod for when you envy the position of another. Oh. Okay, that could be really useful. I was thinking of getting this chain, but what, what does that do? I wonder what the difference is. Iron Foam Finger, celebrating your team's supremacy has been, never been so menacing. <laughs> Iron Foam Finger. All right. 1d4. Damage scales inversely with health. Uh, does that mean our health or their health? Obviously, this seems good if you're damaged, but it would make sense, I guess, if it's your health. But then scales inversely, I don't know. Does that give you a plus or what? And a blood belt over there. It doesn't seem like a very promising room. <laughs> Promisingly deadly. Another switcher rod. Hey, wait a minute. Oh, I got the chain. What?
What exactly does this chain? Wait, all right. This chain can target creatures, items, and walls. So we can chain ourselves. Boom. There we go. Swoop, switch over to the wall there. Huh. It seems like it's definitely better to have a to switch places with them. There's two of them. They're not coming after us. Uh oh, this rod's moving. Yeah, it's a likeness. Oh, it just got killed. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Enemies don't follow you between rooms? Are you sure they don't? I'm pretty sure they did earlier. If they didn't, that would be important to know, yes. <laughs> Disgusting drought. What exactly does that do? Let's find out since we just started. Boom, drinking it. Uh, what? Weird. Is this like not... Implemented. I can't point to things in the log. <laughs> um, it says stun all at the top of the log when I clicked on that. Hmm. Targets yourself. Switch rod. Math bombs. Didn't get to use that last time. Only three of them. Kicking shoes. All right, knock them back. All right. Uh, you were just confused by the why the string cheese wasn't following. Uh, actually, now that I think of it, the cheese wasn't following because the item next to it wasn't actually an item; it was a mimic, um, and so it was blocked by another creature, by a creature that was pretending to be an item. <laughs> so I guess if we had thought of that, because normally they can step on items, but they can't step on creatures. That must have been why that happened. It was weird that it wasn't coming over. Pretty sure that's the reason. <laughs> All right. Um, math bombs. How do we do this? Wait, math bombs target ourselves. Dangerous, but the explosions are a plus. So does that hurt us too? It's actually a bomb that targets yourself. Hmm. Seems weird. Boom, swaps places with that. Yes. See, as you can see here, there's enemies coming right over where we are. They are okay with that. Pork you plate mail. It's spiky and menacing. Huh. It's a defensive armor? Weapon? No, it's a weapon actually, though. Hmm. Anyway. Oh. Boom, swap places again. What is that eye doing? I'm just kind of swapping places to get ahead. Uh oh. Wait, no, it's not. It says it's a piecemeal plate mail falls apart one plate at a time. It's passive with a 50% block chance. It's passive, so I guess it automatically just blocks shots for us. Fungus, a mushroom that seems to enjoy counting. And a quantum mouse. Kick and shoes. I wonder if it, I guess these don't actually hurt, otherwise, they would have a, uh, <clears throat> a decount on them. Mm -hmm. Stop that. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of enemies. Piecemeal plate mail. And, ooh, whoa, a 10-10 health potion. You know what? Something tells me that's a mimic. <laughs> oh, no, I can't. Okay, and swap with this guy. Boom. Uh, what I want to do is grab that and then use it immediately. But there's a jelly here. What if it steals it from me? Oh, wait, and kick him away. Kick the jelly away. Yes. Oh, I was right. <laughs> that 10-10 health potion was a mimic. <laughs> Otherwise, in Agatha, known as a likeness. Ah, and I thought I was being genius. He's going to teleport over, kick the jelly away, and then grab it. But no, it killed me. Uh huh. Yep. Exactly, Vectus. Mimic confirmed. 
I uh, pretty much knew that was it, but we weren't really going to get anywhere else anyway. That run was going downhill. Wand of Fire Plane. A lot of items, items in this game. They're like fireballs, but flatter. Okay. 5% chance to explode. Okay. No effect on flying targets. Targets empty tiles. I imagine it's an area of effect then, kind of like the other ones we've seen that have a 3x3 a three three area. 5% hmm. chance to explode also seems interesting. This is the Iron Foam Finger. Uh, that we don't quite understand what that damage scale means, but... Oh, another rod. Staff of Sprouts. Okay, well, we've seen that one. going to try a different one. And this... Drama Katana. Striking a pose is mandatory. <laughs> nice. Uh, hmm. Iron Foam Finger. Damage skills inversely with health. I guess that means once the enemy is... I'm not quite sure. <laughs> also, it doesn't seem to have any uses, or you can't see the number of uses until... Never mind. I guess, interesting, you can't actually see the number of uses on these things until you actually use them. Four out of four. No, this one you do. I mean, this has got to have uses. Yeah, anyway, I'm just going to stick with this set for now and see. YOLO cannon hype. <laughs> yeah. It's like Cogmine's YOLO cannon. All right, let's find out what this does. A bunch of nopes. Um, these aren't very powerful, though. Okay, actually, he just hit me for half my life. Dude. Oh, wait, how do I actually use this? Is he too close? No. Why can't I click on these guys? For a ranged attack. That's weird. No effect on flying targets. Yeah. Oh, targets empty tiles. Duh. Boom. Okay. That was hot. Did they get hurt? One out of four. One out of four. Yes, they were very hurt. They're also very dead now. Oh, burned the room up. Nice. It only has one more use, so it looks like. Huh. Also, there's a 6% chance to explode. <laughs> Hort health is low. This thing's got 4 health. Um, uh, okay, there's all kinds of stuff in this room. Um, boom. That's a cool ride. <laughs> or wand. Oh, whoa, what? It just got a whole bunch more uses now. It was down at 1 a second ago. Now it's, whoa, 8% chance to explode now. This seems like the kind of thing that's eventually going to explode inevitably, huh? <laughs> They're all on fire. Two more turns before I can use the wand to fire plane again. Huh. I see. Wait a minute. Is that a, that's a cooldown. Huh. I see. That thing next to it is a cooldown, not the number of uses. So I can use them indefinitely? Well, I mean until it explodes in our face. But I mean the other ones too. Hmm. Hmm. I'm still not quite sure what... Oh, I, should, I didn't actually use it. Oh, whoa, there it is. Now damage appeared there. Oh, because we're hurt. That's what it is. Okay, now I definitely know what damage scales inversely with health. It is your health, and the reason it showed no damage earlier is because we were at max health. Now that we have one health left, it does 3d4 plus 9, which is pretty ridiculous. That's a lot of damage. It will like, kill anything in one hit, almost. Wow. Okay. I suddenly feel more powerful even though we only have one health left. <laughs> Obviously, this, anything that hit us from a range would be very scary. Oh, shoot, is this guy going to be able to catch us? Because I can't get him. There we go. Uh, oh, but I actually have to use this. There we go. All right, that's how many uses it has left. Oh, no, that's the cooldown. I keep forgetting that's a cooldown, not number of uses. 
It's number of uses for the potions, I guess. Yeah, slap him with that iron foam finger. Nice. I see. So yeah, it's really powerful, but we gotta we can only attack one at a time really, so I've got to be careful of that. Of course, there's no hunger, so we can kind of wander around whenever we want. A decoy. And a vorpal sword. The Wand of Fireplane is now flashing. It has a 12% chance to explode. Is that the reason it's flashing, I guess? All right, so our third slot is consumables, and these, these little um, dots here are the number of uses. Uh, I didn't really notice that there's a difference between left and right, I guess. I guess on the left side are uses. I mean, the left side, yeah, left side is uses and right side is cooldown. They're similarly colored, kind of made it harder to notice that. Would have been perhaps better if they were different colors or more different. Porky plate mail. All right, let's get our, let's get our wand to explode. Oh, uh, nope. Got lucky enough, I guess. I'm gonna go over here and slap this ink. Actually, that seems like maybe a bad idea. It could disappear at a moment's notice. Yep, it just disappeared. I don't know what this eye does. It has that laser looking like effect, but I don't know what it does. Does it actually hurt? Blood belt. Uh, there he is. Okay, he does. I didn't notice that before. Because we had more health. Then we were down at one health. Obviously, we noticed, but that's a lot more noticeable. So they can, they hit you for one at a range, too. The chain mail, which I guess you didn't quite figure out. And also this. Spiky and menacing. I guess you use it when there's people near you and you can like hug them with your chain now. <laughs> Gorilla gauntlets are perfect for ambushing peasants. What else do they do? I guess they're just a regular old attack. Why can't I use the gauntlets on this? 2d4. Oh, it targets empty tiles. Ambushing peasants. Why does gauntlets target empty tiles? Guess we'll find out. One d4 minus two. Item destroyed by fingers. I'm still not sure what that is. Now what's this? This goes to a different depth. No one to pounce on. Huh. You can click on here, it says no one to pounce on. It has to target an empty space though. How does that work? Does that mean that if the, the you do you use it on a space between you and an enemy? An empty one? That's kinda weird. Switch rod. Switch a rod. Like switcheroo. Um, <clears throat> Coward's Club. A club for the fearful and fleet of foot. Hmm. Doesn't seem to be anything. Nothing special there.
All right, I can try the Gorilla Gauntlets here. Yeah, okay. These allow you to kind of do a ranged sort of attack thing. You get to attack twice then. You use them between you and the enemy. Healing drought. You know what? I bet this is a mimic. <laughs> hmm. Well, it won't let me pounce on the mimic if it is a mimic. Maybe it's not a mimic. Hmm. Okay. That really was a healing drought and it just destroyed it. Oh well. Whatever. <laughs> Yes, I did this. That was my bad. <laughs> I was curious what the plate mail did. It, re it shoots out spikes, apparently, by clicking on yourself. And it has unlimited uses? Hmm. Oh, shoot. This guy is going to be really annoying. I am going to switch places and leave. <laughs> Stop chasing me! Oh, my God. That's a good idea. Run into a bunch of other enemies. Actually, this jelly's gonna steal my stuff. That could be bad. Can't use the plate mail. Gotta wait 10 turns. Hmm. Can't use any of our items really with much effect. Gonna get attacked by this guy next turn, probably. Oh no, wait, he's got the exclamation mark because he's getting math bombs over there. Huh. Uh, gotta wait two more turns before I can use the rod. All right, there we go. Attack that one. <clears throat> Attack the jelly. Attack the ain't. I'm not sure exactly what it is that enables these guys to attack yet. I haven't noticed. Do they have to be cardinal to them? Perhaps. Another iron foam finger. Shoot, I can't move now. Uh, shoot. Swap places with him so that I don't have to wait. Cobifying. Huh. What does that mean? I'm being cobified. Whoops, I destroyed that item. <laughs> cobifying. I'm turning into a. Yeah, I know, I guess. Yeah, it is a cobatrice. It's uh, instead of a cockatrice, it's, I'm turning into a cob? What, is it? what do I do about that? Cobifying one. Hmm. Hmm, it's not the value's not changing. Oh, also it's manually zooming, but we can technically I mean it's it's automatically zooming, but we can control the zoom. I hadn't even done that yet with the scroll wheel. Hmm. Hey, the the cobbing thing disappeared. Hmm, nothing about that in the log, huh? Eh? Weird. Hmm. 
Uh oh, can't really switch places. Dead. All right. Play once more. Because there's a lot of different things to explore in the game. Uh, I this. And this is the, uh, the last game we'll be playing today. The next set will be uh, next week, so we might as well do another run. We've been still exploring new, new things each run in this game. Pretty cool. Uh, breaks under too much strain. Windowless shield. <laughs> Has to be held at an angle to see. It's passive. All right, so I guess it just blocks things. Oh, whoa, look at that. It actually shows on you. That's interesting. <laughs> and this here is a nice... Okay. I guess it actually blocks from the direction it's facing. That's possible. Sprouts. Oh, what is this one? Chainmail thing, which I never quite figured out. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to ping Cogmine unless they're actually streaming Cogmine stuff. Hmm, what is that over there? Windowless, another windowless shield. Wand o zap it and shoot a bolt of lightning. Ooh. A oh, a 1% chance to explode. 1% chance to vegetate. I see. So wands, when you overuse them, that's what happens. Right. And this is one of those fungus things under there. Well, let's use the wand of zapping because, hey, I haven't used one before. Lightning. Oh, the windowless. Oh, okay. Yeah, Vector says the windowless shield points counterclockwise from the direction you move. Uh huh. Yeah. It does. So you can actually control the direction that it'll block from. That's pretty interesting. I wish I could close the door. I don't need that door open. <laughs> What's up in this room? Kick shoes, and a katana. Wait, the katana targets empty tiles. Why does the katana only target empty tiles? I guess it attacks everyone around you, perhaps? A lot of enemies in this next room. Let's see how much lightning we can shoot. Boom, that was a cool effect. Boom. Nice zigzags. It doesn't seem to do much damage though. Also, now it has a 7% chance to explode. Math bombs. Lightning. Lightning. It's got one left. Regular attack. Oops. Oh, this moved. No, or it got dropped. 
what kind of shield has windows on it? I don't get it. Yeah, you know, I wasn't sure about that one either. Most of the joke, I think we've gotten most of the jokes. I wasn't windowless shield. Um, I don't know. I haven't figured that one out either. Hmm. This one's a mimic. I was pretty sure it moved a second ago. <laughs> Mimics are fun like that. Did that move? <laughs> wow, it just blew up. Mm. Hey, wait a minute. If it exploded, that zapped out. Yeah, it says here in the log here, too. Wanda zap and explodes at 17% chance. Oh, I got a little blown up for one. Wow, that could have done up to six damage. It was a 1d6. Oh, it actually hurt this uh, corn catrice, which I can't actually look at because it's standing on shoes. <laughs> Bring it on. Oh, shoot, I can't. I can't wait. Fine, I'll go this way. Oh, nice. I attacked in two different directions there. It cuts twice. I killed one direction and then attacked in the other direction too, it seems. Also, I should probably go pick up another wand from earlier. That's the sprouts. Just so I have something, might as well. Oh, I can't even see that guy. <laughs> there, eat that. Can't shoot me if you can't see me. Hey, we're up to... I got 11 hit... I got 11 hit points now. How did I get 11 hit points? Did I raise a level? Oh, shoot. Now you can see me up here. Uh, how about... Oh, I can't use my staff over here. It's okay. He's trying to make it through that stuff. Yeah, I didn't. I don't know if I did anything specific, Vectus. Uh, Eleven HP. Hmm. Not sure. Choo choo chain and a wanton whip. Wanton whip. Uh, liable to cause some collateral damage. Collateral damage. Hmm. One D four plus one only. Target creatures and items. I guess it just randomly hits a bunch of stuff around the target too. A lot of stuff in there. Let's go this way and make some more trouble. Up to the next floor. Four! This is floor four. Just came off three. Oh, what is this? Is there another window to the shield? Yes. Got two of you now. This eye is... Really coming after us here. I kill you. Gotcha. Overall, the balance is pretty good in this game. Um, I like how uh, you can attack diagonally with your special melee weapon, but you can't. You can only attack uh, cardinally with bumps. So it gives them an extra strategic advantage there. And it took a little while to figure out the inventory things and said it wasn't uh, taught to you, but uh, not too hard. It's kind of funny how this, uh, our windowless shield is, is, a, is a blue bracket and it's appearing in between these other two blue brackets. <laughs> I'm not sure if our shield is actually also being useful either. Maybe we should figure out what that is. Target self. Wait, what was this guy? A grab goyle. A stone monster with extremely long arms. Uh oh. Don't like the sound of that. It's really slow. Oh, it's gone now. Ha. Huh. Gorilla Gauntlets. Uh, I guess I, I guess he uses Gorilla Gauntlets. He could have jumped at us if I hadn't stepped out of the way. Wait a minute. 
How is this a chain mail block over and this also a chain mail block over? You know what? One of these is a mimic, right? <laughs> yeah, one of those is definitely a mimic. <laughs> I guess it has to be this one. I mean, the chainmail should be the uh, bracket. Let's open another door and cause some more trouble. A dog gone. An excitable dog with a habit of teleporting. <laughs> dog gone. <laughs> Funny. Uh, okay, all these others we know are familiar with. What's this? Wait a minute. An II also over there? It says it's an II, but it looks like a it looks like a brace. What the hell? Hmm. I don't like the look of this room. <laughs> yep, this mimic just moved. It's a likeness. Here it comes. Actually, I'm going to attack it right here. Got him. All right. Too bad we're, we're, we're now out of diagonal attack options, though. Quaff of quickness. Looks like it'll make you faster. Rowdy Dow. Just looking at it makes you want to fight. Okay, I guess that is a... He's just giving us the weapon info. We do need the, a weapon, so... But I had to fight through all of this? Oh my gosh. Eh. How about I make a mess first? Buried him. Ooh, uncovered him. Well, I guess I can go around, but this would go now. This is going to go up to the next depth. Surprise these guys. <laughs> this is actually pretty effective. This only has six uses, 1d4 plus 2. And this one is five uses, 3d6. This is clearly the option I want. Make sure the eye can't hurt us. Oh, shoot, you can actually still do can me. turn. Room's going to vegetate before you know it. Hey, I don't mind. <laughs> that would actually be effective anyway. It's only 7% right now, actually. Don't mind. This is pretty nice, though, actually, for being able to control what's going on. All right, which direction are we going to go first? The iron foam finger. Uh, hmm. Don't really need either. I'm going to take... Oh, shoot. I behind there. Uh oh. He's gonna hit us next turn, but I guess that's okay. Ouch. Hmm. Not sure what determines whether the eyes attack you or not. It seems like an important thing, but I can't figure it out. Our staff is now flashing. Oh shoot, you can attack diagonally. Duh. Shoot, I just lost what was in our third slot? Oh the qua oh, that's right, it's in a log here. The the uh, quickness. Damn. It's okay, I've got it back. Oh, something new. And undone. The water, this water elemental won't stop crying. It's surrounded by water. I wonder if, what that affects. Whoa, there's a flashing thing up here. Shiny diggy claws. Walls will fill you with these, huh? Range, it's the ranged variant, I see. A ranged variant, huh? Hmm. Interesting. 
I don't know how we're going to get by the water elemental without getting a buzz kick, but mm, seems tough. Oh, shoot. Being copified now. That didn't work out well. I'm about to get attacked from a range, too. My Vorpal, uh, Vorpal sword broke. That's what happened. Shoot. <clears throat> Ouch. Can I step in this water? Seems like I can. <laughs> Gee, I pick up a flashy item and break the game. <laughs> Oh well, probably we're going to die pretty soon anyway, or we are already dead, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, we were hasted. Haste really worked out well there. <laughs> Time to go to this into Cogman too. Yeah, uh, oops. Okay, well, I'll leave it up there for a second. Let's, uh, I guess um, I let him know yesterday, but Tariq wasn't able to show up today. But anyway, I'll mention to him that that happened. You can see, look into that. There's your uh, <clears throat> error for you. I don't know how helpful that's going to be there, but uh, action number one draw event hmm, happened right when we were just when I pressed on the button to move north and grab the uh, the uh, shiny diggy claws. Anyway, uh, I don't know. Maybe maybe it's just a temporary error and it'll continue. Um, clear copy abort. Well, no, actually, this looks fatal. Oh, never mind. It says if there's fatal. Fatal. <laughs> Gonna have to abort, and it closes, of course. We came punished for you for abusing haste. That yeah, that was pretty good. It was a pretty effective use. It was a perfect time to use haste. We managed to take them all out, but we we're down to almost nothing. I doubt we would have survived. But anyway, I'm quite curious how deep that goes, really. But um, every literally every single run, we were finding new items with different properties, so that was pretty cool. And they're quick runs too. It's uh, always nice when. Uh, Especially with seven DRLs, I think we talked about this. Uh, it might have been last year when I was doing reviews, I think, or it was earlier when I was playing the dev ones. But on some previous seven DRL streams, is talking about the fact that in seven DRL, it's nice when uh, you have uh, they're they're generally quicker runs, and each one is different. Um, it's better to kind of basically front load a lot of different content rather than making it too deep and long. But uh, yeah. Uh, the portal game. Uh, yeah, I'll tell you later, Vectis. I, I, don't, I don't remember the name myself, but if you if you go through the pre, well, we can actually look real quick. Um, all you have to do is click on 2019 and portal. Oh wait, it's not searching in this window. No, it's not. Oh, never mind. I found it. It's not called portal. I think it's Pocket Dimensions. I was wrong. Pocket Dimensions. Yeah, this is a game. It's called Pocket Dimensions. It's a cool game from. Uh, so it's similar kind of to what we we're just playing in terms of the fact that you can connect different worlds. Uh, it's uh, I don't think they, they didn't work continue working on it, unfortunately, uh, after that, because there's a lot of potential in this idea. And it was already what was there was really well executed. But uh, the content was just slightly lacking. There already there is still a fair amount of stuff to see and do. But uh, you can tell that uh, it would be so much better once it has uh, even more content. So anyway, that's the game there, also playable online. Uh, so that was 2019 list. Yeah, back to the 2020 list. Yeah, no problem. Uh, check that game out. It's cool. Um, uh, let's see. So yeah, so today we played those. So next time we're going to play, be playing these other ones, scrolling, scroll our own. And I'll, I'll, at least I've got a name of uh, five or six more here, or a list of five or six more that um, we're going to play. And I'm probably even going beyond that. Uh, depending, I'm gonna look. I haven't looked past that. I didn't have enough time yesterday to look in advance at the other games that are up on near the top of the list. But because some I can't stream or aren't as suitable, so uh, yeah, we will see. Um, either way, uh, next week is definitely a seven hour week, and we will be continuing to play down the list. Um, yeah, so that was pretty interesting. Uh, looking at some of the top games. Uh, I, I should probably play some more of this first one too, Respertivo, because it took a little while. To, there was a lot of uh, stealth and uh, avoiding avoiding things, so I didn't get to play more than once. 
but I thought that one worked out pretty well. Um, Oni story seems like it's missing a little bit in the mechanics, but you know, I got to experience a the theme. So that was good. And, uh, yeah, overall, uh, good games in the top list here. And my own recommendation is still with hooves of fire, probably, um, tied for second place, I guess. Oh, no, wait, that's technically third. But I guess also Fable on the Table was a, a little less fair just because only one person would it. But still. Anyway, yeah, try. Uh, these are these are all some good games, though. And OK, so, yeah, uh, a week from now, normal same time, I'll be doing the stream. No, I will not be painting the Cogmine role. <laughs> but I will probably at least drop a mention in the Cogmine channel. It's something I normally do is not ping, but drop a mention in the Cogmine channel because people are used to watching my streams weekly from there. But anyway. So yeah, I will uh, see you all next week then. Thanks for watching.